It's so stupid, it's positively brilliant. Yep, Charlemagne the God. Andrew Schultz. We are the Brilliant Idiots, live and in the flesh. Okay. Uh, it's a little different today. I don't know how I feel. Do you feel anxious? Um, a little bit. This is a little socially awkward because, you know, I've really been cooped up in the house for since March. You I have take... not been in New York there since March. There we go. There we go. Go wrong. I had a COVID test this morning. So you're good. I, yeah, but I don't know if y'all are. I told you I went to the wedding in Florida. Besides that, I did have a COVID test and I passed my COVID After test. After the wedding in Florida? No, before. Jesus but Christ. I went into the wedding very healthy. Okay. Everybody at the wedding seemed very healthy. How long healthy. ago was it? When? The wedding. It was last weekend. Oh shit! Yeah, I I probably got it. If I if I don't have it, it doesn't exist. Put it that way. But I think you should take that mask off. You look crazy. I'm gonna try. And it sounds crazy. Is this six feet? Yeah, we're six feet. We're but good. But then Taylor and Wax behind me. Wax just came from Florida. Wax ain't had no COVID test. He but said Wax he got one. a mask yeah, on. I, I do have a COVID test before. Uh, I think you're like, good. I think like it's six feet. Ago, though. It's five weeks ago. That's fine. And I just not came from um, Florida, so that's why I got the mask on. Taylor was in Mexico, allegedly. Taylor's been everywhere, man. I don't know what the fuck is going on with this girl. And has never had a COVID test. I don't know what's going on. And, and no mask. One. And no mask. And no mask. Where your mask at? God damn. So look, I think you should take off the mask. Taylor get t listen, Taylor gets horny when people do their mask like this because it reminds her of Philly bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody when she see when she see guys walking around like this, that shit turns her the fuck on. He must really love envy shit then. <laughs> Is that true, Taylor? Yo, people Lies. get turned on by Lies. weird things, man. Lies. Sometimes it's masks around your chin, sometimes it's pets. You just never really know what it is that's going to make somebody get horny. I'm telling you. The only reason why... Imagine you got me too by a dog. Would that be a weird thing to happen to you in your life? Yeah. Like, of wild. all the different ways to catch a me too, imagine you got... Yo, and I had a lot of pets, yo. I'm a and fucking I had a lot dog. of dogs. You know I had a lot of dogs. I yeah. still got dogs. I never even thought to even... Jerk take off. care of the dog. That's like, you know, you got to say take oh, care. Y'all coming of out the gate take, shooting, huh? You gotta, you gotta, hey, bro. Yo, you got you to say take care. You can't shoot. jerk off. What did I miss? What happened? <laughs> oh, you've been busy starting companies, bro. I've been, yeah, I've been, I've been you yeah. know, listen, man, yeah. the dog listen, days yeah. of summer are long, so I just yeah. be sweet. Did you say the dog days of summer? Who said that? <laughs> <laughs> dog, y'all are tripping, yo. What's going on here, man? A lot going listen, on. Listen, some people love their dogs enough that they just, I guess, I love my dogs, bro. You know, but would you suck the little pink thing, the, the little lipstick nah, that comes I get, out I get of the pissed off dick? every time they come out. Like, yo, man, put that shit up, man. What the fuck is wrong with you? I talk to the dog like that. Yeah. That's his penis. You can't be mad at the dog because he gets an erection. Yo, I get it, but you, you could actually, dogs understand everything you say. Yeah. So you just, they just can't talk back to you. So you just tell your dog, put his dick up? Yo, put that shit up, bro. <laughs> Put it, out of here for that shit. put it up. <laughs> put it up. Yeah, put the pink thing back up. Yeah, it go right back in. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Come over it. Yeah, Why yeah. is he getting horny around you though? If it's, it's not, not only the dog around, around me, dog. <laughs> <laughs> crazy. What the fuck is going on out here, man? Yo, they go like, crazy. What the you ever fuck? have a male dog? They just they just go horny for. That's how males is. No, 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 no. Now don't they do that to horses? <laughs> don't do that. Don't what? put it on all of us. Don't they masturbate the horse? I think I've heard that before. I don't know if they physically do it with their hand, but don't they masturbate horse? Now they masturbate dogs too, though. Like I know they do? a lot of trainers who actually masturbate their dog. Okay. If the girl is like too short or whatever the case is, you can look that up. A lot, a lot of bullies do that. They do it for the bully dogs. So it's they not. It's not, it's, it's not strange. Exactly, but they usually do for it for dog. like reproduction purposes, yes. not pleasure. Yes, not like, for pleasure. It's, it's it's very rare you just be looking at your dog, and be like, ah, he needs his dick sucked. <laughs> Yo, and I'm saying that though. Listen, Man, like, that's weird, right? Like, no, and the I see my is, dog, I'd be like, oh, he needs a walk or he needs some water or some food. No, I, I say he needs some pussy. At my dog. When, when that thing come out, I say he needs some pussy. <laughs> he needs some pussy. He needs some pussy, so you get him some dog pussy. Well, maybe some dog pussy. Maybe yeah. we're looking at this wrong. Maybe we need yeah. to open up puppy brothels or something. Uh, listen, you know I'm what I'm all saying? For this. Dog brothels. Have a place where dogs can go and get their shit off. That's it. Happy no dog ending. run. Dog come. A dog happy ending. Dog happy ending. Did you say a dog come? A dog come. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know if you were just cutting companies <laughs> short. And you were just, no. <laughs> like, what? No, you know how they have like dog runs where like dogs yes. go get their okay. energy yes. out? Yes. Just have a dog come if, where if, the dogs get their come out. If it's that serious, if you got to jerk your dog off or Wax got to tell the dog put the dick up, yeah. then that's what we need. Also, telling a dog to put their dick up, that's like a girl 
telling you to just uh, be soft. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's not yeah. how it works. It's like girls be like, stop being a dog. See what I'm saying? I know you heard that all the time. Stop being a dog because yeah. dogs are always horny. Yo, so next time a guy asks for a hand job, is a woman going to say that? Stop being a dog. Stop being a dog. Like, <laughs> what Stop the being a dog fuck? ass motherfucker. Yeah. Jesus oh, Christ. That that's like, interesting. Back in the day, now Yo, but fun. maybe we're looking at this wrong. Maybe maybe somebody that's willing to jerk off their dog is, is actually someone who just loves their dog so much they don't want them to... They kind of have like blue balls. They don't want them to suffer through life. I mean, it's a different level of love. I mean... <sighs> It's not a crime, is it? I don't think it's a crime. Yeah. I mean, you give a dog I know a, a lot haircut. of breeders who do that. A lot of breeders do that, for sure. You look it up. It's a normal thing. Your dog isn't giving you consent to give him a haircut. You do it anyway. You do yeah. it Your anyway. Your dog's not giving You're you right. consent to wash him. Your dog you do may not anyway. want to walk. You're you like, let's go. You, for, you, for, yeah. you literally force your dog to do everything. Sit. Everything. Fetch. Everything. Eat. Hey, we don't even know if dogs are really man's best friends. Dogs could be indentured servants and we don't know it. They Seriously. Fetch. We teach dogs what to fucking do. Yeah. Everything. Yo, that's but true, they, But man. they be happy. You know when they dog, dogs got a lot of emotions. They tell you what's going on. So now how? they keep coming yes, they to you. Tell me. I don't know. I really don't know. Yeah, tell me nah, how. They dogs get jealous. tell you everything. All that. Yes. Yeah. I know they're protective. Very they're protective. protective. They do love you, man. My little, I have a dog, Um, a little wasabi. You guys have probably seen wasabi have on penis? Instagram. No, she. Okay. Oh, so that's why you kiss it. Uh, I was wondering why you fucking kiss the dog. I was like, yo, this guy is fucking out of control. I do kiss the dog. Kiss that's the dog. nothing. I kiss the dog. Out of control. I think that's out of control. I kiss it in the mouth. Yeah. That's a white thing, though. Yes, it is. I, with white people, we I do have, have to do so, that. I thought white people had the closest relationship to dogs. <laughs> I did too. Literally today. Wait a minute. I did too. It stopped today. My, I think my girl would be more upset if a girl gave me a, a kiss me than gave me a hand job. And now, if I kiss that girl, my girl would be upset. But my girl, baby, she's gave me a hand job. Oh, my girl not gonna be that upset. That's an interesting because if you go to a happy ending massage parlor, mm -hmm. some wives will not consider that cheating. No, some I, wives will be like, "You just you're just getting released." So you're you're actually doing more yeah. bad to the dog than I heard somebody was jerking. I don't know who it was. Well, you're massaging another body part. <laughs> Technically. Yeah, I don't know who it was either, but it is no different than <laughs> you're a muscle. You're massaging another body part. Yeah. And, and can we just say one thing? What do you do to a dog constantly without ever asking? Without ever asking, pet it. Mm. You just petting Touching another it. part the of the dog. Thing. Okay. Y'all asking the wrong questions, though. What do you do with the dog? Come once the dog ejaculates. <laughs> <My God. laughs> you, have, you have to do something with it. Where does, the, okay. where does um, the dog come go? Yo. Come on, bro. And who controls it? What does that mean? Like, who controls it when it comes out? What, you, what do you mean? Have dog? you ever seen a dog ejaculate? No. no yes. No, me neither. Come on. I literally have no, it. It's a lot, though, because yeah, they, they just, get stuck it, it goes all over the place. Yeah, they get stuck in the girl. When like have y'all been seeing the dogs? Oh, I've seen that a lot. Because um, <laughs> I, 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 I used to I used to watch my man breed his he pit breed bulls. Dogs, yeah. Okay. And like the dog would get, sometimes the dog would get on and the dog would come before he even gets in it sometimes. He, he was just stuck. so excited. No, not even before he got stuck. Sometimes before you get in, he'll get on and be humping. Uh -huh. And his penis won't be in yet, and it'll yeah. shoot all over the place. And there's nothing wrong with that. We shouldn't judge th people that, that have. I'm just saying, who, <laughs> who controls it when you're doing it? Right. When right. you're doing it to the dog, <laughs> right. do you aim it on the floor? Uh, you know what I mean? Not, you know what? You should, you should put a sock on it. Or put a again. condom on it. Put a condom on the dog. If you're going to do it all, all the way anyway. If you're going to go all the way, use protection. Use protection. Is put what a condom you're on say. it. Yeah. 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 That is interesting. That is interesting. I mean, less sloppy. It's it's a lot less sloppy. You have a lot more cleanup. Look, these are questions that we have to ask. You know, it's one thing to like make fun and make jokes on Twitter, but like we have to get to the bottom of this. I'm happy for all the dogs out there. You know what I'm saying? We say things like every dog has its day. We don't even know what that means. <laughs> we, now we know. We know exactly what it is. Hey, because yeah. if you're a dog and you can go tell your other dogs that I got a hand job from a human. From my owner? Especially a guy? Yikes. Yo. A heterosexual <laughs> male? Yo. That's a win. Wow. Yo. You think the dogs don't talk? Dogs definitely talk. <laughs> you think the dogs, <laughs> you think the dogs <laughs> aren't keeping score? I right, no. listen, this, this person true. might have a, a penis. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you humped the leg? Well, where are you that <laughs> Please. Your owner just kissing you in the mouth? That's all. Come on, man. <laughs> I do like this around the house. That ain't the beat. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> I'm serious, man. This is a wild time that we're in, bro. I've been hearing some wild shit he, he this probably, week, He probably man. had breeders in his family or something like that. Somebody told him that just like does something. He saw that somewhere. He had he to. Had to. No, he, he saw that somewhere. That, no you, that's not just in your mind. No. Yeah. Yeah, you saw that somewhere. He saw that somewhere. He realized that he could do that. And he loves his dogs. And listen, does DMX something. love his dogs that like that? that? Ain't, that ain't I don't. You want to yo, do. we gotta talk to X. We need to talk to everybody who's ever named himself after a dog. Snoop, Snoop. Bow Wow. What the fuck, man? Yeah, okay. <laughs> You want There's some questions that need to be asked around here for the dog lovers. Yo, that's a great. I point. just need to know how much everybody loves their dog. How we know what the bar is. Yep. Yeah. And I have plenty of dogs. You know what the though. bar is. So, and I'll tell you no. You I don't even love your dog enough, enough to do that. Not even kissing him in my mouth. If my dog licked me in my face, I'd be pissed the fuck off. But you don't get your ass out of here. Mm. Tell don't it. lick me in my face. Don't don't pull your meat out around me. None of that shit. <laughs> we should we should see how common this is. Okay. Al, why don't you look up ejaculating? A dog on Holy like regular shit. YouTube. What if like, wax pops up and it's a girl checking? <laughs> checking <him up? laughs> Nobody got time for this. A lot is happening right shit. now. <laughs> wow, 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 wow. Oh, look, 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 look. Canine semen collection there and evaluation. We go. How to collect canine semen by manual wow. stimulation. Wow. wow. Did it look go to videos. Listen, you're going to be really pissed off if you find out people making money off that canine semen. Mm. You really uh, sit back and think about all the goddamn sperm you wasted. Animal I put a lot of that shit in the dreams. toilet. Collect canine. There we go. There wow. we go. It's something that happens wow. this, regularly. This is for breeding, though. This is what I was what telling is? you about. This is for breeding. So hold on. You can you can jack the dog off and get the semen and then inject it in another dog? Look at him. He's jacked. Yeah. <laughs> 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 There's another God. dog there, though. There's another dog there, though. There's another dog there, though, right? Yo, if nobody, Yo, if somebody doesn't man. take that and put the pump it up man. instrumental behind <laughs> it, then we are really <laughs> fucking up. This Damn. shit better be edited at right. <laughs> oh my, my God. God. <laughs> Holy fast, shit. Like, is it going fast or that's really how fast he's pumping? God, I was Holy shit. Speed. I oh guess the dog God. going crazy too. What is that? Is that a penis? Bro. This is me. That's the dog's penis? Yeah. Oh, it's in the condom, right? Yeah. Yeah. Bro, that oh is. Oh my God. That's torture. Why is it coming out like that, fucking that, that Heinz right. ketchup? Why that, is it that not coming right. out fast? <laughs> That's torture, bro. You gotta hit that 57, that ain't what bro. It is. I know this man ain't have nothing on his hand, no lube on his hands. He got this nigga hands hard as hell. Wax. Grabbing the man, grabbing the man meat, man. That's wild. <laughs> yeah, but he's doing like his it'd job. Be okay, if he had lube, lube on his fucking up, fingers. Do lube up. That's How torture. do you know he didn't lube him up? Nah, that's what the hard. fuck? How many Yo, legs he trying to jack off? <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> That what ain't is right, going bro. on? <laughs> Why the fuck did he do Why that? Why is he selling it anyway? What you <laughs> he probably getting arrested. What out. do you use dog come for? <laughs> for breeding. To make more dogs, Taylor. Uh, what the fuck else do <laughs> you think you use dog <laughs> come for? I'm tired of it. Enough. Enough. Enough, Taylor. There we are. What do you use dog come for? Great coupon. <laughs> This girl's out of control. Mommy, what is this? Mommy! Mommy, what is sperm? Do you have any ideas? Mommy, what is your dog come for? I think I'm reading it. What are you thinking then, Taylor? If he's, if it's weird enough for me that someone's jacking off the dog, it means they're doing it for something else, not for breeding. Nah, but listen, what? and, 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 and <laughs> humans do that too. You gotta jack, yes. you gotta sometimes you gotta put sperm, sperm in the cup to it's see if your sperm is yeah. um is fertile. Yeah, um, they, the humans. They pay you to do that though. They pay you to I do it know. at sperm banks. They do that for dogs. Do you know how babies get here? Shut up. I'm just asking. I don't know. <laughs> listen, um, seriously though, you know, I'm praying for healing for everybody involved in this situation. Yeah. Especially the dogs. Yeah. Because I don't know what the fuck is going on. I just saw torture. Yeah. I really don't know what the hell is going on. I but saw. we shouldn't judge. I think maybe that's one thing that we learn. It's like, maybe this is something we should all be doing. Maybe it's a practice that we can all learn. From. Maybe. You know? You know? I heard somebody to do Listen, it. we always say dogs and man's best friend. What are we the dogs? I never heard nobody say. Like that's friends. what I'm saying. I never heard nobody say, "Hey, man, is dog's best friend." That's a fact. You know what I mean? What are we the dog? If, if dogs are man's Companion. best friend, what are we the dog? Companion. Companionship. We're a companion, but maybe we could take it to the next level. Maybe we could stop being a companion. That's right. Maybe we can be a best friend. That's maybe right. Maybe we could be a lover. That's right. Why don't we be more progressive? Also, who knows what that dog identifies as? I'm serious. Like, how do we know that's not a dog who identifies as a human that, and wants a go. hand job? There we go. You know what I mean? 
Cause I, oh yo, bro, we <laughs> not even thinking this shit through, yeah, bro. Keep going, keep going. Listen. A dog can't get that from another dog. You really can't. Dog got up. paws. Yeah. <laughs> Humans got, got hands. Hand. That is a different you sexual fits. experience. This dog doesn't for have a, a thumb. It's got those no. long nails. Man, hands come padding. on. You can't, they can't grab their own dick. A hand job from a human to a dog is a delicacy. Yeah. <laughs> I'm serious. Yeah. Wow. Yo, y'all playing this wrong. All you dog lovers, y'all really not treating y'all dog yeah, well. Yeah. Dog Maybe enough. that's what it is. Maybe they're projecting their own insecurity that they're not treating their dogs mm. the best. Well, look at my hands. You, my dog don't want this shit. Well, it doesn't have to be from you. Yeah. That's so why I said I hire somebody to do that crazy. Yeah, you can hire someone with a softer hand. You hire someone who's really strong to move a couch. You hire someone with a soft back. hand to jerk there off you your dog. <laughs> By the way, you can never say pause ever. <laughs> If you jerk <laughs> off your dog. I'm saying, yo, like, you can yo, never yo. say pause ever again. How often has that word been used by the people that like to jerk off That's dogs? what I'm saying. You can't, you can't pause a human if you jerk off your dog, which is very progressive, by the way. Yeah. I'm not mad at the progressiveness of it at all. Yeah. It's just, you know, I'm just not an animal. Lover. I got to be involved. Yeah. You got to involve into that. That's well, not something, like you said, you don't want to just do that. That's something that you just want to do. No, I think you meant evolved. I don't even know what that means. You said involved. I said that? Yeah. That's the most that involved you can be. There's nothing more. <laughs> well, they always giving each other head and stuff like that. Dogs actually give each other head, so leave that alone. I've I, never I understand, seen that. I understand the claw thing because of the thumbs and all mm -hmm. that type of shit. That's cool. Dogs always eating each other out. They always giving each other head. That's cool. Let the record show. If, <laughs> if a woman gives you head the way dogs give each other head, you would not enjoy it. That's also but that's, that's their also thing. Cool. You that's don't want all thing. that licking, licking, licking. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> nobody <laughs> ever said. Nobody ever said I want my dick licked. Yeah. I, want my dick I say that when I'm about to nub. Like I lick it real quick. You know what I'm saying? Just to the dog. No, man. This guy is crazy. <laughs> what the fuck? This guy is, is wild. <laughs> this guy, like, this guy is Yo, wild. Nobody say just lick my dick, and I say yeah, I did one time. Yo, um, talking about coming, bro. Uh, congratulations, man. Congratulations, yeah, Black, bro! Man. Everybody, applause. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, we, we've got a lot of uh, things to celebrate this uh, this episode. Wax is getting married. Wax is getting married. Wax yeah. is having a Wax child. Got a child on the way. Bravo, oh, boy! At For, that, so that's how you know that I'm really wasn't a scumbag to these girls. I always told them the truth. First one he's claiming from the beginning. <laughs> that's beautiful. I've bro. seen it. It's MC. He All has right. one, two, three, that? four. This is this is fifth. This is your fifth child. Second he's claimed. Got gotcha. you. <laughs> Bro, I told you before, the uh, fingers was too skinny. You know what I'm saying? You see my hands? There's yeah. no way. This, these hands are like for like... Jerking off dogs. No. <laughs> Jerking no, off like rhinos. A, no. It's not like <laughs> fucking hands over there. Holy shit. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. You see these? This is like a Rottweiler. Yeah. The other kid hands is like a Chihuahua hands. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Like, I was looking at the hands. I'm like, that's not my hands. It's not my nose. It's not. He was just like too skinny. He had yeah. like a meathead. What did the What did the judge have to say about your <laughs> exactly nah, theory? Fuck the far. blood test. No, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. The skinny fingers is, lets yeah. me know it's not I mine. That's not mine. Listen, if you see a fucking chihuahua in there with Rottweilers, you'd be like, what is that dog in there doing? Yeah. It's a total difference. Anyway, well, I just want to congratulate you. I want to let the brilliant idiots, uh, listeners know that you are, you know, making some uh, huge right. advancements in your life. Salute yeah, to Carla. Proud of you, man. Carla, I Shouts don't know what Carla, you did. Man. She needs a trophy. She needs everything. Everything. Yo, she Carla got the got the sunshine, bro. Yeah. He must have it. I'll put something in the food. Something. She something, something happened. I'm telling I mean, you. She, she, um, She's a Taurus. I, I can't even tell us, Wax. No, for real, Wax. Explain to us what love feels like to you. Yeah. Um, I've never seen you like this since the white girl. Tell me. me so <laughs> this guy is so crazy. Um, I don't even know. Are you about to cry? No. Yeah, you almost got <laughs> emotional, bro. Oh. No, 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 no way. Um, no, listen, I, I, um, I don't even know. It's just you, you uh, see him talking to her. Like he, his eyes get like. I see oh, it. Stop. You looking at my eyes? Carla had him in a tight ass button up for the gender reveal. Yeah. That's when I knew it was real. Like Yo, y'all did a like gender reveal. Yeah, Yo, he had on a size did. medium button up. Bro. No, it wasn't. And he had that shit buttoned <laughs> all the way up. He kept pulling it down. It's not. No, everything else was loose up. It's just my arm. And that shit was from TJ Maxx. That's how I knew that shit was red. It was with Target. Target. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't got time for that shit. I ain't spend Yo, no money on no fucking shirt. I'm only going to rip up and, and you know play be, around with the dog. You know, it'd be fire if like. What do you mean by play around with the dog? 
be a crazy. Nah, put, All of this has to be defined now. What? I said out. playing around with the dog and he does like this? Because you grab you go like this to the dog and dog go go at it right away. Just mm-hmm. make it sure, man. We have when people say playing around with the dog now, you have to really define that in 2020. Anyway, we're very proud of you. Uh, another massive thing that we have to discuss today. And this is this is very important. Um Odell Beckham. <laughs> <laughs> We could talk about that too. I mean, there's there's some very big news. Odell, we can get to there's, that. Well, Odell, Odell is interesting for one reason and one reason. Okay. Do you want to break down what the Odell yeah, thing is? I I really don't know. I just know that everybody woke up on whatever morning and just decided to believe whoever sat down. I think it was on the No Jumper podcast. I think there are these girls. So like, it's a new slut podcast. Lots of slut podcasts, and uh, the latest one is that Adam, I guess, is producing is with those girls that were on his podcast before. And yeah, they were yeah, talking yeah, about yeah. having sex with celebs and stuff. Okay, yeah. And athletes. And uh, they're doing a place called Thoughts Next Door. I think it's That's a podcast. That's the name of the podcast? Yeah, Thoughts Next Door. Okay. And they just bring on, I guess, other thoughts, and they all talk about their thought adventures. So, I think on the podcast, there's this girl named Slim Danger, who I guess is a famous thought. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And she said that Odell Beckham Jr. likes... Uh, to get shit on. Wow. Thoughts on that? <sighs> what's I've, his race? <laughs> what's his race? Yeah. Four, four, 40. Uh, I don't know, because a, a lot of people in Afghanistan, they be doing that, right? No, like, what um, are you talking about, bro? Dubai. Dubai, same thing. <laughs> no, man. That's what girls go over. Girls, it was a period where girls would go over to Dubai. And let the guy shit on them. Yes, for a free trip to Dubai. Here's my thing with that whole situation. We don't even know if it's true. Yeah. But everybody runs with it. You know why? Because like I always say, nobody cares about the truth when the lie is more entertaining. Right. Nobody wants to do any due diligence to see if this shit is actually true. They just want to run with the story. Odell Beckham Jr. likes to get yeah, shitted on. Or, Odell Beckham Jr. plays with the Cleveland Browns. People like to you know jerk what else off is Browns do to. <laughs> you know, well, jerk, the jerking off dog <laughs> things was different. <laughs> it was. Because we, we heard that. that they they, they that watered it heard, down. Yes, that came from, that came from him. He right, said that. Right, 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 right. With right, right. Odell, I don't understand why people run with that and act like it's just automatically true. I said that in the group yeah. chat yesterday when uh, Michaela was like, oh, so this is what Odell likes? All you guys like these slutty ass type of women. I'm like, why do you even believe exactly. her? Yeah. How about that? Yo, that's the other thing is like, like she me. said, she said that he texted her, yo, take a picture or video of you taking a shit. Nobody's, nobody's texting that. But here's the thing. So, what if you texted that as a joke? Like, what if you're like, yo, I need to make sure you're real. I need to make sure you're down to do this. Yo, take a picture of yourself taking a shit. And then yeah. this dumbass <laughs> actually did it. But I'm not going to do that for a joke either, bro. I might do it. Yeah. I but- sent my picture of myself taking a shit. Absolutely. You're All a comedian. Shit or taking a shit. You're a comedian. It's a difference. I, that I can understand. Yeah. If Andrew showed says, I'm having a shitty day, and he sends me a picture of him on the post, <laughs> I but, get it. But taking a shit or taking a shit. She's like, is it like- She was she taking a shit. shit. Come out. Or, I mean, sitting on toilet taking a shower. Yo, there's I'm another thing people. that people say that, like, these that they, these athletes or celebrities are so, like, over-sexualized that, like, nothing, they don't feel anything anymore. So, they're like, nah. you don't buy that? He ain't been around that long. Odell ain't been around that long. He's, he, I mean, you know, he was in LSU. He was a star. He played for the Giants. He played for the Browns. No. Yeah. You got to get, you got to be John Travolta to get to that fucking But level. even if you are, like, I mean, I've had tons of pussy in my life. I'm sure you've had tons of pussy in your life back one day when you were doing whatever. I never got to the point where I was like, I need to get shit on. No. Like old fashioned pussy and blowjobs was not. phenomenal. Yeah. No, even when Biggie said that in a song, that was not one of the rap lyrics that influenced me. Wait, what did he say? It was a whole sketch Biggie had, and Biggie was talking about the girl wanted him to shit on her, and he was like, So I shit it on a bit. You know what I mean? Yeah, like he yeah, talked yeah. about that, but I'm like, nah, that's not something I ever wanted nah. to duplicate. A lot of things I wanted to duplicate in rap songs, that was never one of them. I don't like shit though. Yeah. I'm not a shit guy. I hate when I walk into a bathroom and like yeah. See, so. see toilet, see shit in the toilet. You love it. I don't like it. That's <laughs> why I've nah, seen that's bro. Yeah, we yeah. heard too it. many stories I don't like it. about How you and Doo Doo, bro. I understand that. That's why I, I, that's why I know Take to put on somebody. Take your mask off. You look so stupid yeah, with I it know. like that. I cannot <laughs> believe it. <laughs> Mario. <laughs> it's <laughs> it's a As it wrap, listen, it's protecting your nostrils. I, listen, What's going up your nostrils? Another COVID test? Listen, I know exactly what I hate so much. That's why I know what to put on somebody. 
That's why I do it. If I like shit so much, why would I give it to somebody? I've I seen, keep it for myself. I walked in the bathroom with Wax. Wax going one star. I go in another star. I've heard Wax say, "Jeez, what the fuck did he eat while he's just peeing over it? <laughs> no, <laughs> no, no, didn't flush no, the toilet. No, no nothing. No, probably, You're a liar. Probably, I've seen it. It's a smell. I'm probably like, whoa. What no, the fuck? no. I could hear the fucking piss hitting whatever was in the toilet. What you mean? Oh, this guy nasty. Know know shit. <laughs> Yo, y'all are wild, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you, I don't even know what to say right the now. The moral of the here. story is though, I want Odell Beckham Jr. and anybody else. Yo, start suing people, yo. If you feel like you got the time and the energy and the resources, some of you got to start filing some lawsuits from some of these people. Yeah. I'm going to tell you why. Slow them down. Be it's slow them the fuck down because they feel like they can get on these podcasts yeah. and on YouTube and Click just say whatever the fuck they want. But if yeah. they say allegedly, can't they get away with it? I don't know. Allegedly don't always work. I've been doing radio for a long time. You can still say allegedly and still get hit up. Trust me, take it from somebody. I've been sued mm. by things that I thought were totally legit. You know what I'm saying? Citing my sources, everything else. But since I got a big platform and I might be spreading misinformation or spreading something that's not true just because I saw it somewhere, mm -hmm. I'm the one that ends up getting sued. Well, you can always sue. That's the thing. You just can't win. You can't win. But sometimes dragging someone through a lawsuit will cost them so much money. <laughs> oh, I love it. Yeah, man. Yeah, right? I love it. Pissed off. I love it. The, fuck the litigation alone is going to cost them so much money. They're like, man, I don't want nothing to do with this. My bad. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, I got three. Yeah, listen, I got three drawn up right now. Ooh, really? <laughs> right, Who's I got, getting hit up, no, bro? I, no, I mean, I've had it for a while. I'm just like, you know what? I'm just... Waiting to push the that's push just the button. That's all. I, just, I, got, I, got about, I got three ready to fly right now. How big are we talking? What you mean? Like money wise? How Nothing. Much I wait, won't what? get a fucking dime. <laughs> wait, but wait. <laughs> you just doing it to be people. petty? I'm do yes. I love it. Shut the fuck up, y'all. Keep spreading these fucking lies. I love you? it. Yes. Now, one person I probably could get money out of one one individual, mm -hmm. but you know. That's that's a whole nother story. But that's the moral of the story. Start showing these motherfuckers. Stop letting them get on podcasts and YouTube and using you as clickbait. Because that's all they're literally doing. It's all content. Okay. So if you have a podcast, and I don't know these women at all, but if you have a podcast and the podcast is you telling stories about different celebrities, that shit ain't going to last. Yeah. yeah. Until you start making up shit. <laughs> and then when you yeah. start making up shit, you know what I mean? Then it's boom. Like, yo, that Superhead era, that was one time. Yeah. One time. That shit worked once. Why do you think we have a fascination with like hearing girls talk about getting fucked in the sluttiest way? Why why is that? I don't have that fascination. Sex we sex as sells. human beings, like Call Her Daddy was the most popular podcast. It still like, is. Is it? Yeah, that should still be like top three. Boom. There was tons of these podcasts. There was a podcast, I think, that like started all these girls talking about getting fucked podcasts called Guys We Fuck. We've done it before. Salute to Guys We Fuck. I've been Shout on Shout out to, yeah, Christina Corinne. Yeah. And, uh, but like, what is the fascination with people just listening to girls talking about getting fucked. It's human nature, right? Like, listen. But if there's porn that exists right there, you're already on your phone or computer. But like, yeah. why do we value the talking over the action? We could see exactly what they're talking yeah. about. For me, honestly, it's because you learn things. Like, if you're a man okay. and women are really having conversations about what stimulates them sexually and what they like to do in the bedroom, what they don't like, it's kind of like a cheat code. Well, that's the thing about like Christina, I think Corinne's, right? Is like theirs was focused more almost like uh, had like educational value. I think you also see that with horrible decisions. There's like this Salute educational to shout to the girls. Yeah. Black Effect Podcast Network, iHeartRadio. Man, I wanted to bring it up, bro. Oh, my bad. Go ahead. You the one who want to talk about doo doo and <laughs> getting shit on. <laughs> I've been trying to big we you up for the it. whole fucking We got a whole podcast. We, we only Don't push what, back on me. What when minute you we just on, dropped Alex? It? Hmm? What minute we on? 30. Oh shit, we might have to get to it then. That's what I'm saying, bro. Let's put our paws on this. But but to the <laughs> <laughs> Don't be like that, show. Because you never know. What's you that? know that picture of the dogs playing poker? Ooh. They're playing poker on the table. Tables turn. Always. What does this mean? What are we saying? Nothing. I just I'm going with to, it because I, I feel like you to have the vision. I feel like the energy's right Nothing. there, I but like, I don't know. I just want you to have the of the dogs playing poker at the table. That's uh -huh. all. Uh -huh. I see the image. But that table those dogs are playing poker at? Yeah. That table always turns. You mean it could turn on me? Absolutely. So if I start jerking off dogs, then people can make fun They'll of me They'll make for fun it. of you. Absolutely. So every, I gotta make every sure. Every dog has its day. We every always talk does. about that in terms of success, mm. but that should be in terms of like when you're going through something as well. So that you should also think Wow, people could people could be poking the fun at you. That it, it's only a matter of time. That's true. It happens all the freaking time. So I think maybe the lesson here is is like work diligently 
towards not Fair whacking enough. off dogs. It, the, Stop jerking uh, No, nah, I think the moral of the story is um, don't dog people out the way they would dog you. Ah. Uh, you know so, what I mean? So I got you. So we're just going to act like- If the shoe was on the other paw- Do that. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm saying if the shoe was on the other paw, <laughs> so, right, right, they would be over there dogging us. You know right, what I'm right, that, right. No, no. But I would be okay with that. Me too. I think that's the game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah like this yeah, is yeah, jokes. Yeah, yeah, this is what yeah, we do. This is this this is jokes. Right, right, right. But you know, when they go high, you know, we go low. No, when they go low, <laughs> literally low. Yeah, we go. <laughs> Wow. We go high. There you go. Like but what if high. I like low? <laughs> <laughs> I enjoy the trenches. Or well, just watch where that come that yeah, canine come is going there. when you're down there. Yeah, <laughs> easy, easy. <laughs> that they go low, we go high. Shit is not as fun. Yeah. Low is He's fun. I need overrated. you to go high. I need you to have your networks oh. and all this stuff. And I just want to be out there shooting. <laughs> oh my God. Shoot, baby. Y'all niggas want to be killers? Just jack me, dog. <laughs> 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 oh my god it's content though it's content it's, it's fun. content and we could be talking about the way worse story but we're not <laughs> the which one the way worse oh yeah 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 by the ooh shit <laughs> we just talking about the fun hey, part hey man hey hey bro know? dog F is hey man hands yeah. off hey man hey man hey man you know I'm gonna say this um let's pay some bills <laughs> god bless America <laughs> let's pay some bills and uh you know, come back and see what else. What, what we got? Oh, Squarespace. Let's go. Our people at Squarespace, man. Turn your dream into a reality with Squarespace. Squarespace makes it easier than ever to launch your passion project. Whether you're looking to start a new business, showcase your work, publish content, sell products, and more, Squarespace is the tool for you. With beautiful templates created by world-class designers and the ability to customize just about anything with a few clicks, you can easily make a beautiful website yourself. Squarespace's powerful e-commerce functionality lets you sell anything online, and analytics help you grow your site in real time. Everything is optimized for mobile right out of the box and there's nothing to patch or upgrade ever. Buying domains is simple and you'll get the help you need with Squarespace's 24-7 award-winning customer support. Squarespace empowers millions of people from designers to lawyers, artists to gamers, even restaurants and gyms to turn great ideas into something real. Head to squarespace.com slash idiot for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, use the offer code idiot to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. That's squarespace.com slash idiot offer code idiot. Now, Shows you should you should do that because you have hella expertise with that one. What's that one? Blue Chew, baby. Got him. Yo, if you guys don't know about it, man, um, you never have to worry about your dick not being the hardest version of itself that it can always be. Okay. Also, if you just want to give your girl a fun weekend, a fun night, if you want to impress the new girl you're dating, there's Blue Chew. It is the same active ingredients as inside Viagra, Cialis, all that stuff. The only thing is this works twice as fast. You don't got to wait around. Chew it up. Get hard and do what you do. Handle your business. You go to bluechew.com, okay? And you use that promo code, idiots. You're going to get it for free. All you got to do is pay $5 shipping. I'm telling you, your girl deserves this. Ladies, you deserve it. Get your man on it. Have some fun. Enjoy your weekend. Chew it out. That's bluechew.com. Promo code is idiots. And you will get it for free. Just pay that $5 shipping. Now, let's get back to the show. Listen, man. Um, today is a great day. Uh, today is... Uh, Very exciting news. 9-9-2020 when we're recording this. Um, nine is the highest level of change. Um, happy to announce that uh, today uh, it was announced that uh, I'm launching my own podcast network Woo! called the Black Effect Podcast Network mm -hmm. uh, with iHeartRadio. Um... Let's Something go. that's been in the works for a long, 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 long time. Everybody in this room knows that. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> um, 50 50 joint venture. Uh, Google what a joint venture is. Because I'm, I'm, I, it's, it's funny to me. This is the other th thing that's funny to me about mm -hmm. the internet. Everybody on the internet swears they know. How do y'all speak on things that you have no clue about with such confidence? Well, because <laughs> they listen to one podcast where what? Yes. people do it for a living. Yes. And they think that they can replicate it. That's they not how it works. I, I, I need everybody out there to know that it's two people, two type of people in this world you're going to listen to. Mm -hmm. 
You're going to listen to the people who've never done it try to tell you how to do it. Okay. Or you're going to listen to the people who are doing it tell you how you can get it done. Mm. And even if I tell you, it still may not happen for you because mm. you're not me. Mm. Mm. And that's not, a, that's, not a, that's not a diss. You know what I'm saying? That's just yeah. the truth to the matter. You got to look at everybody's circumstances. Everybody's circumstances. Put in and everything. Absolutely. Lot, lot that go with that. Yeah. Like, you know, ingredients. Absolutely. So it's just like, yo, to sit back and just observe the landscape of what was going on out here in the culture, the podcast world. Like, you know, I've all, I've all, I looked at what Bill Simmons was doing with The Ringer. You know what I'm saying? I looked at what, you know, Gimlet was doing. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I looked yeah. at what, you know, Anchor was doing. I, I, I look at all of these different networks. I mean, shit, I've been an owner of a fucking podcast network for, what? How long have we been doing Brain Idiots? Five, six years. Five, six years. So I think I was owner with Loudspeaker for like four of those. Right. Maybe. You know what I'm saying? Just gave Chris his 10% back last year because I knew what I was about to do. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so, 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 salute to my guy, Chris Moreau. Love, to, love, yeah. love Chris. But I gave yeah. him back his 10% last year. But, but Chris, yeah. but, but to yeah. that note, Chris is a person who was in on the network thing early. He was in the network thing early. Rest in peace to Combat Jack. Oh, I thought you were going to say rest in peace to Chris. No, so, man. Rest in, yeah. <laughs> rest in peace to Combat Jack. Salute to Chris. He might kill himself when he hears about this. No, oh, man. Chris, <laughs> me and Chris, 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 me and, me and Chris has been in cahoots the whole way. Like, this is going down. Right. But my point is... But Chris is involved. No, not with this. <laughs> but, <laughs> but there is a situation... LSN's going to be fine. Right. But my point is, I've been sitting back watching what LSN has been doing right. for years. Right. LSN, you know, grew a lot of uh, name brand recognition Absolutely. in this podcast space. There was Huge a time, podcast. let me see, what was that three years ago when, when, when these companies started to really want to partner with these podcasts? Loudspeaker was one of the number ones, whether yeah. it was Luminary, whether, whether it was Endeavor. Me and Andrew turned down a lot of shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? We turned down a lot of shit. Just like, nah, we're we'll, we going to stay... Doing what we're doing yeah. for, 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 for a while longer. So it's like when you sit back and you observe the game from that angle, you observe the game from what's, what, what's missing yep. in a podcast network and also what's just missing in the podcast space. Mm -hmm. You know, you look around, you see all of these different podcasts, especially podcasts that have, you know, black hosts. They're just kind of like everywhere. And that's cool. That's great. Mm -hmm. But what if we can all partner together mm -hmm. and have a home? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And we can have a home to where we can, you know, utilize each other's resources on on both ends mm -hmm. to just make whatever it is we're doing even bigger. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So it's just like I'm sitting there watching people say the dumbest shit in the world. I am not just the face of the Black Effect Podcast Network. I'm a 50% owner mm -hmm. of the Black Effect Podcast Network. Yeah. Me and iHeartRadio have a partnership. Right. You know what I mean? Yes. So I don't know what to tell y'all other than Blessings. God bless. <laughs> you know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. And I'm yeah. not that type of person. Like, I'm not, a, like, if I hear certain people saying certain things, like, I'm not the type to just jump out there and tell you what I'm about to do. I'd rather show you. Mm. I'd rather show and prove through actions and deeds. Right. Than right. all of that words and lip service. I can get on the podcast and, you know, inflect my voice and Stole my words and let veins come out of my yeah, neck and yeah, tell you yeah. about what I want to do. And uh, nah, yeah, I'd rather yeah. do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. better, right? Yeah. Well, yeah, I think so. Yeah, because anybody can say it. Anybody can say it, but are you doing Execution it? Execution is tough. Execution, man. Is Execution tough, man. separates you from ninety nine percent of the people. Everybody got man. ideas. Few people got good ideas, and even fewer finisher. people actually do them. Got to be a finisher, man. And, yeah. and you can have great ideas and. Not have no way to execute them. Yeah. yeah, might not even you can might can't find a partner to execute. For me, iHeart is the perfect partner because I've been with iHeart Radio for ten years. Right, they trust me, I trust them. Mm -hmm. They're the leaders in the audio space. Right, you know what I'm saying now they're in the podcast business. Right, this seems like a good partnership. It makes perfect sense. Yeah, yeah I think um, you know a lot of people have been hitting me up, especially you know with what's going on. And they're like, yo, but you're Mr. Independent. And, you know, you should definitely side with anybody being independent. And obviously I do. I love independence. The whole point of independence, at least for me and the platform that I've tried to like, at least, you know, give other comics so they can go out there with their content mm -hmm. is to gain enough leverage so that if you want to do a deal with a network, mm -hmm. you get your worth. Yes. 
That is the importance uh, for me about independence. So I don't have to do any deal with anybody. And if they do want to deal, uh, do a deal with me, I can make sure that that deal reflects terms that are beneficial for both of us. Not like I'm yes. owned, but yes. I have enough leverage now because I have all these people listening, all these people who fuck with me, all these people want to win, that now we are working together with a network instead of being owned by a network. Absolutely. That is the point. And Absolutely. I hope other comics, I hope other podcasters, they run with those, you know, they run with what they've seen you do, do they run with what they see me do, and they hopefully find ways where we can create a more equitable relationship with media, with news, with whatever the fuck it is, because that should be the future. If there are people out there that want to pay us for stuff, great, pay us. But you're not going to owe me. That's why you license your content. <laughs> like, I don't know why people act Well, explain like, licensing to people. Out. Licensing is when you own your content and somebody pays you to distribute your content. Right. So they don't own you. And no. what you do, they simply own the rights to your content Absolutely. for a specific amount and, of time. And, and, and it's, it's, let's say you do a two-year licensing deal, yeah. right? And you go and you do your, your your podcast with somebody. You That company might own that content under that two-year window. And then afterwards you get Everything it. before, yeah. everything after, that's yours. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And you might have licensed it for a freaking few million dollars a year. Yep. And still maintain your independence, still own your IP, still can go out there and do other things with TV, still got your own videos on YouTube. All somebody wanted was your audio. Mm -hmm. Or vice versa. Somebody just wanted your video. Yep, yep. You know what I mean? Like, it's so many different ways to finesse this content space. And um, I'm sorry for those who haven't figured it out. And boy, yep. I'm going to tell you something. Motherfuckers on Twitter is so crazy. Like, people literally were sending uh, me my trademark. For Black Effect, as if as if I just thought about this shit in the past two weeks. Yeah, you you, you it fucked you up to see that this shit has been in the works that I filed in 2019, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who yeah. the fuck do y'all think I am? <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious. Like, what the fuck? Who the fuck do y'all think I am? Yeah. I promise you, whatever you're on, yeah. I'm ten steps ahead of you. Yeah, I've, I've I've thought about it already. Yeah, so we can either think about it together. Yeah. And, and and figure it out together, I'm going to go do what I've been doing. Right. Which is maneuvering with me and my people. Right. And I'm happy to have the Black Effect Podcast Network. Got a lot of great partners on the Black Effect Podcast Network. These are podcasts that don't have to partner. Right. You understand what I'm saying? Drink yeah. Champs don't have to partner. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Maybe 85 South say. Show don't have to partner. Yeah. 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 Like, and, and it's a partnership. Like, you know, we don't... I'll let them tell their own stories. But yeah. all I'm simply saying is they don't have to do that. That's you know the thing I, mean? I liked about it. Because when you hit me initially, you said you were talking to me about this idea and everything going on. And you were like, yeah, you should, you know, start something, blah, 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 same thing. And mm -hmm. I was like, I don't want to own anybody. No. Because I've been in negotiations That's and stuff with like networks and prior. And what their goal is, is essentially to restrict your freedom to create outside of their yes, box. Yeah. And I get why they're doing that because if they blow you up or help blow you up, they want to reap all the rewards of blowing you up. Mm -hmm. But you are in a very different situation. You're blown up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. now you could tell whatever network you're negotiating with. I'm very fortunate to be in a similar situation, not as big as you, but still I have, you know, a No, good Andrew, career. you cooking. Knock it off. So, but Andrew still, cooking. We're in Andrew Schultz's studio right now. It's not bad. We got this up, in you know, Brooklyn. You know, Andrew yeah. Schultz got his own studio. New York. And one point, how many YouTube subscribers? I think we had like 1.4 now. 1.4 million YouTube subscribers. That's just on my personal account. No that's just on his personal <laughs> account. Personal, that's that's that on that Andrew that Schultz's that page. Nobody's Nobody's counting. Counting. All right. Okay. Yeah. I, one thing I know for sure, I will never sit in a room and say, if I don't take this, I don't know if Andrew will be okay. <laughs> All right, Andrew. I'm gonna be hitting Andrew, yo, Andrew. Can I get something? <laughs> right. We're both doing well. Yes, I think thank we're both God. doing well. Thank, thank God. God. Thank God. We made cool decisions, and I, I think one of the cool things I see about it is, especially with your deal and what you were saying to me is, you're like, I'm not owning anybody. I go, what do you mean? He goes, I'm partnering with people, partnering. and I don't want to give again the details of your relationships with these people or these different podcasts. But the idea was, and this is something that I always thought was really cool. If I was ever going to do some sort of business within this space, it's how do I provide value for you? And you're going, how do I provide value for these mm -hmm. podcasts that can use this extra value 
without owning and restricting their freedom to do the thing that they do, which is fucking create. Wow. And so few people want to do it. But the people that do do it, I think you have good karma that comes your way. I think that if you look at a company like iHeartRadio, I mean, just use me for an example. I've been there for 10 years. Mm -hmm. I feel like I'm free. <laughs> so here's the other thing. <laughs> you have built enough leverage within that company where they got to keep you happy. You're Giannis Antetokounmpo, whatever we pronounce his fucking name. They got to make sure you are happy. I think we got to keep each other happy. They got to keep you happy. <laughs> Let me put it that way. They got to keep How you happy? happy. As happy as you want. Like jerking off the dog happy? <laughs> you got to be, be sitting there in a puddle <laughs> of your own dog cum. <laughs> happy, <laughs> wagging your tail. Never been happy. I've never not been happy though. Because they know. But now here's the thing. You've been at radio stations prior where you did not build up that leverage. Yo, I've never worked at a radio station this long ever in my life. And, and I think, Never, I think, ever. I think that's what happens when you build up enough for leverage where all of a sudden they understand their success is dependent on you. No, I think, I, well, here's the thing. I don't ever want to get to that point because I, I feel like this, right? Our success is dependent on each other. And I think sometimes we miss that when we partner with these corporations. Sometimes we get into right. these corporate buildings and we think it's all about us. Mm -hmm. Look what I did for you and look what I did for you. And it's, I'm right. like, um, this, these people over here are putting a lot of marketing dollars behind you too. Right. You know what I'm saying? You didn't have billboards and shit yep. before you got over here. Yep. Like you didn't have access to these multi millions of people that's on our platform. Yep. So it's a it's a fair, it's a transactional thing. Yeah, you want to be in that, you want to be in that relationship with them. 100%. Yes, a hundred percent. It's a transactional thing. And I think that's what I like about the deal. And I again I don't want to give it too much, but what I like about it is a lot of times there are these podcast networks, right? Mm -hmm. And as far as I can see, they don't offer any value to the podcast outside of just being on the network, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. And my understanding from what you've explained to me, correct me if I'm wrong, is the iHeart PR machine is Absolutely. involved Absolutely. in promoting these podcasts. Because that's important, right? Like, we know that from not only just being brands and entities mm -hmm. that's what you need mm -hmm. you know what i mean like listen we all have the blessings of being on certain platforms or creating our own platforms right. where we're able to market and promote ourselves right but come on let's not act like it's a difference when the machine gets behind you it depends on the machine but yeah it depends on the machine yeah. absolutely 100%. if the machine is giving you billboards and yeah. you know placements on phone booths and yeah. tv commercial all that shit then it's worth it yeah you know what i mean yeah. or, or in the case of iheart got 800 plus radio stations throughout the country Right. That's going to be running commercials for your podcast. Right. Like, yo, that shit matters. Yeah. It could right. definitely, definitely help. And there is the first time I'm like, oh, this is valuable. That makes yeah, sense. Yeah. Yeah. And, and trust me, man. Yeah. Um, I don't, I'm not going to say too much, but you know, yeah, you, you, you I, I, I've seen the landscape. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I've seen what other people were doing, mm -hmm. you know, and I saw value. And saying, no, iHeart is absolutely the best place. Now, you can go get the bag. You can definitely go get the, 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 the huge, huge bag somewhere else. But, yeah, they're they going to want to own everything. Well, that's what comes with the bag. That's what comes with the goddamn bag. You don't get the bag and then you don't get... Now, if you build up enough leverage where you're a guy like Rogan, you get the bag and, and you get, you get the leverage. You want. Not just Rogan. Who else? Who else? Hi, Leonard. Who else? Who else? Who else? Who else? I'm who else? Saying, who else? 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 I'm just saying, no, it's something to that. But you know, you said something earlier that I wanted to talk go, about. Go, man. go, You talked about uh, worth, right? Yes. If we're being honest, there's no corporation, there's no entity that can truly pay you what you're worth. Because if they paid you what you're worth, they'd go broke. Or they, yeah, they, yeah, they go broke. What they NBA team could literally pay LeBron James what he's worth? He was worth a billion dollars a year to a franchise, probably. It, it, probably yeah. more. Yeah. When LeBron left Cleveland, yeah. the economy of this city yeah. <laughs> dropped down. Yeah, they that's had, why they, they have, have to have a max three hundred million for whatever yeah. years or whatever it is. <laughs> they were ready for the Wuhan virus. 
Like, <laughs> like shit was already up, closed down. Like, <laughs> all right the business has been shut down. Everybody just at home, <laughs> sad and depressed. Up, like, it was so ready, bro. <laughs> Cleveland, bitch, shut people up. People was already wearing masks <laughs> yeah. to hide the sadness in <laughs> After LeBron left, they wanted to they put... They, they was already... No! The Browns weren't wearing the bags. What's that? Remember the Cleveland Browns used to wear the back? Oh, they didn't win. Yes, hundred <laughs> percent. They were shaking. But I'm telling yeah, you, they were, that was the first Chinese virus. Oh man! But I'm simply saying, like you don't. First of all, you don't get what you deserve. Yeah. You get what you negotiate. Say that again. That's important. That's very important. You don't get what you deserve. You get what you negotiate. Nobody's going to give you anything. Correct. Like you have to approach these situations with a plan already and say, "This is what you want." If this said person is not able to, 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 to execute, then you move on to find somebody who can execute your plan. That, that worth thing can fuck with us. And I'll tell you why. Simply because these companies could never pay us what we're worth. So yeah. you can look at all of these different analytics and say, man, I should be getting $250 million. Yeah. <laughs> you, can, you, can, you can say that. Yeah. But they'll look at you like, then how can I make money off of you? How, yeah. You it's literally... Down. <laughs> Everybody wants to pay the least amount of money they can so that they can profit everything that comes after it. And, and by the way, you're right. That's but, it. That, but, that's the goal of any you're corporation. Right. You're right? right. It's like, I want to, I think I can make, I think Lennard can make $100 million a year. Let's just say, throw it out, whatever, brand mm -hmm. If we offer him 50, that means we get to keep $50 million a year. Nice. Now, Lennar might come back and go, I know I can make $100 million a year. Mm -hmm. I'll give you 10. It's 90 million. You keep 10. They might go, you know what? That's worth it. I'll yeah, keep my, I'll do my 90 10 split. And now you know they're getting 10% over on you, mm -hmm. but you get the security of that 90 million. Yeah, yeah. God forbid, in case you butt, you know, fuck your knee up or there's a what? <laughs> but fuck my knee. Like, don't judge people's <laughs> sexual what? acts, bro. Like, you don't know what people are into, bro. You make a little butt out of your, you make a little butt out of bending your knee. What you the fuck? fuck that shit, bro? This is what it is. I get what you're saying. Hey, man. All hey, we want bro. is you want this ninety percent. All you, you can, want this ninety percent or not? You gonna have to butt fuck some knees if you want this ninety percent. All, all you can do as an entity is negotiate what's fair. Exactly. What? Uh, yeah. You it. decide what's fair. They decide what's fair. But they're gonna. If they pay you what you're worth, they're not going to make any money. So the nature of the business is they have to exploit. The nature of capitalism is exploitation. Say whatever it is. Yeah, it is what, the reason why we're making T-shirts in China for fucking $2 and selling them here for 100 Project. is so Project. we can exploit people Absolutely. and make some money. That's what it is. You have to decide what your number at exploitation is. Now, the way I look at this shit is always, if you're exploiting me, what else can I get out of it outside What's of monetary the incentives? game? Yes. Mm -hmm. Boom. So yes. when we were doing What's MTV... the other ways we can make money? Now nah, we're talking. So when we were doing the MTV stuff and we already had these conversations, this was both your same thinking as well. We weren't worried about the overall deal that they were paying us, which was okay money. It wasn't life changing because no. we we're like, put me in front of the people. I'll be able to find a way to garner those people Absolutely. who support me, fuck with me, and they're going to ride with me through whatever I do. Absolutely. So if you're doing a deal... If you're a young podcast going on your platform, be like, whoa, there might be way more ears and eyes for me. I'm going to come up. If I'm doing a deal with some company, I'm thinking about what's the multiplier. Okay, you pay me this. I know I'm worth more, but you're going to pay me this. I'm going to make sure I get my freedom, but you might be a three-time multiplier. I might come out of that deal, and now I got three times as many people watching my YouTube shit, my Instagram yes. shit, my whatever. How can you build around it? And let's just say you do that for two years. Mm -hmm. now, now you done used this partnership to help you get here. Now somebody, you might just want to get the bag after that. Somebody might just want to come. And you probably already, I know you're going to make money, but then somebody else might just come in with the bag and say, yo, let me get that for such and such amount. But now you got a whole different leverage because you got a whole different type of proof of concept. Leverage, you know what I'm saying? Bro. Leverage is everything, bro. It's, it's very interesting how you don't understand <laughs> that until you own them. Why? Real quick, but I want to get on that. But mm -hmm. why do you think they don't release the numbers like for shows on a lot of these TV or streaming networks or even like why well, I think Spotify doesn't release the numbers. What do you mean? What numbers? Right? Like they don't say exactly what something hit. I think like Netflix doesn't release their numbers. I, you, you can get it though. It Can you? Yeah, yeah. No, I mean, we can't probably as, as the public, general public. But if you're in the private. Yeah, yeah. If you're in the okay, building, yeah. absolutely. That's I'm I just said. saying that'd be a great tactic on the company side. Like I won't tell them how well they're doing and then they can't use that against yeah. us 
when it comes to negotiation. Well, that's what you got to do your own research. That's what you have agents for. And that's what you have, you right. know, lawyers for. And that's what you have a manager for. You got to have the right team around you. I'm not sitting here acting like I got it all figured out. You know what I mean? But the people that I've studied in my life are the, the Jay-Z's, the Bob Johnson's, the, 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 the Robert Smith's. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, These yeah, are the yeah. people that have, I, I've, I've studied and I've tried to model my my game after mm -hmm. you know what I mean but it's funny when you talk don't talk about like, the ownership yeah everything yeah. we're talking about now you don't realize until you own something like yeah. you know when you get in these buildings yeah. and you know you're, you're you're a partner like I've been a partner with iHeart for a while just through national syndication or even with you know you know being up at Viacom like having relationships with these executives the people that run shit and, right. and producing my own shows like I'm my own production company see the God world but yeah. like producing my own shows and stuff you start to realize all of these line items you start to see where the money goes. You start to see why certain things are spent, why certain talent gets just, a certain amount of money. And, mm -hmm. you know, these these executives will tell you straight up, like, yo, we can't afford to go over this number. That's why they have this thing called best and final. Yeah. Because you've pushed them to the, you, you know what I'm saying? You pushed them. We, can, we can't, man. We just simply can't. It's not worth our while to mm -hmm. do it. Like, it's not worth anybody's while to do yep. it. And that's just something you know when you are under the hood. You yeah, know when, when you know, it's like a lot of people don't realize this because they they maybe might be in like their first few negotiations or they don't even really understand like the ramifications of a negotiation. Mm -hmm. But uh, something I always consider is precedence, right? When you do a new deal with a company, especially a, a big company, the deal points that you make set a precedent for other people. Absolutely. And they can't afford to do that with everybody. Exactly. Because once again, like I said, I can tell you how it's done, but you might not get it you done because you're not, not me. Because you're not you. Because you don't have all that leverage. So you know what you got to do? Build Absolutely. up your leverage. Yeah. Right? Absolutely. But when I, so when I go into these negotiations, and I've been very like open, like I... I I, everything that I do, my model, my blueprint on everything, I'm giving to comics. I want them to do it. I want them to build up enough leverage where they can get deals that are more fair, right? They can make more money. I want that. I think a more equitable relationship with media is better for everybody in entertainment, right? But I know when I'm going into a company with a deal, and I'm sure you know you're going into a company with a deal, you know that the deal points you make are setting the standard for the creators that are following you. So yeah. that when someone goes up, now they can ask for 50%. That's what, they can ask for these yes. things, this ownership, when they couldn't have done it in the past. Pro tip. You know when you signed a great deal? When they make you sign an NDA about it. <laughs> <laughs> that's, 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 then that's, you do a whole podcast talking about that shit. Run the clip. I'm just saying. <laughs> when they, when they, I'm, but I'm just, that, that's, that's what yes. it is. Yes. And, and also, too, when, when it comes to like the joint venture thing, you know, don't listen to people when they say, you know, uh, just because you, you can't partner with corporations because you don't own anything or, you know, if, if, if you're not putting your own money up, what kind of splits are you getting? Or don't don't let people make you believe that if you're not a 100 percent owner, then you're not an owner. Because That's not true, especially, you know, especially as a black person. Right. So y'all don't respect Rihanna's Fenty deal with, right. with LVMH. Right. Like, you don't respect when Rockefeller and Def Jam was 50-50 joint venture partners. You didn't respect Puff when he was with Bad Boy. You don't respect right. Puff and his 50-50 deal with this, the spirit company that puts out Ciroc and the, the Daily right. Antiquette. Like, what are we saying when we... It's a very common... What are we saying when we say this? Yeah, it's yeah, a very common that. way of doing business. Uh, it's the most common way. It is, because most people, <laughs> honestly, like, most people don't want to spend their own money. They use their fame, they use their leverage... And they understand the value of that. When George yes. Clooney puts himself in front of a tequila or an espresso, Absolutely. he knows, motherfucker, I don't got to put up a penny. I'm I, George Clooney. I, if yes. I'm drinking this shit, other people going to drink it. I love Casamigos. Never heard of it until George Clooney started pushing Boom. it. Boom. I love, uh, I love Ciroc. Never heard Yo, of it until Diddy, Diddy Charlie, started pushing yeah. it. Charlie, let's be very real. Some people here, maybe they can tell the difference. Most of us cannot tell the difference between alcohol. I, we can give pushback in terms of what it is, but mm -hmm. for the most part, alcohol pretty much tastes the same. Like vodkas taste the same as other vodkas. You know, whiskeys more or less taste the same as more other whiskeys. Why do you think so many famous people are in the alcohol business? Because it's all about brand. Yeah. Of course, Diddy yeah. can make vodka hot because Diddy's hot. So he can make you drink the same tasting shit as something yeah. else that doesn't have Diddy on it. You, you, you mad at Michael Jordan for doing Jordan brand with Nike? 
doing the same shoot like, over every week. Yo, because think of, <laughs> nah, because think about this, what they don't understand. It's like the brand needs awareness. The awareness doesn't need money. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. But the awareness is like, hold on, if you need awareness, you put up the money, now we have a company. Yes. Now, you both have limitations in terms of what you can do because now you have a partner. Just like anything else, if you're partnering in a restaurant, you got limitations in terms of what you yes. can do. This is partnering in business. Fenty Beauty is a $3 billion company. And I think, what, four years, five years? That doesn't happen with Rih that doesn't happen without Rihanna's cultural cachet, mm -hmm. and it doesn't happen without the LVMH machine. Yes, simple as that. That's how you get a company to size and to scale fast. Yes. Now is the is the goal ultimate ownership? Yeah, because eventually, at some point in my life, you want to be the person that's the financer. If that's your thing, Charlotte. Even if it's ultimate ownership, mm -hmm. everybody I do business with, it's regularly employed by me. Is a partner in my business. Absolutely. Literally 100%. a percentage owner of my business. 100%. Okay? From Alex, Akash, Mark, whatever it is, everybody owns a percent. I know when you are owning everything, I'm sure the people that you are hiring are going to, you're going to empower them by giving them a piece of that, making them feel part of that fucking journey. Mm -hmm. So even then, you're giving up pieces. Nobody is 100% owner of everything, of anything massive. Yes. Yeah, yeah, everybody, there's not, there's, I mean, I'm sure that there are, but most, pe most people have investors. At that side, you go public, yes. you do an IPO. Absolutely. And now the, the, the people Absolutely. are owners of part of the company. This is a very normal it's thing. It's so normal. And, you know, as a creative, the only thing that you want to have is creative control, right? Mm -hmm. Which you earn by showing and proving that you're already a great creative, so I don't need you for that. But if you can bring it, if you can bring some more creative juices over it, let's do it. And other than that, all I want is the leverage to empower the people that I want to empower, to partner with the people that I want to partner with, mm -hmm. with no hesitation. Mm -hmm. That's the problem that I saw at other companies. Other companies, they want to do a lot of red tape. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like if I say, y'all, I want horrible decisions. Well, you know, what are they doing now? What's the analytics and this and that? What do they bring to table? I ain't got time for all of that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I want to be able to say, I want horrible decisions. Let's get them. Let's make a deal. Let's partner. Yeah. That's it. You want and them to trust your decision. That's and that's listen, I'm I'm launching I launched with 18 podcasts. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I got matter of fact, let me shout out some of these. Let's go. Some of these great people. Listen, man, I just want to sal salute, you know, uh right. the right. <laughs> <laughs> No, leave that like that. I like that. Right. I I want to salute, you know, just just all my partners. With the Black Effect Podcast Network and and iHeartRadio, man. First of all, salute to the legendary, the 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 culture shifting. They definitely didn't need a partner in no way, shape, or form, but they decided it was something they wanted to do. N O R E and DJ Effing with Drink Champs. Sure. Appreciate y'all so much. Um, one that I'm very excited about because this the network reflects a lot of my interests, right? So it reflects hip hop, of course. It reflects comedy. You know what I mean? It reflects Sports, it reflects mental health and mindfulness. You know what I mean? It reflects politics and social justice. So on the sports, all the smoke with Matt Barnes. Ooh. You know what I mean? They definitely didn't need a partner. Great. They could they could they could call their own shots anywhere they wanted yep. to. So it's it salute, salute to them. Um Matt Barnes and Steven Jackson. Um horrible decisions. Horrible decisions, Mandy and Wheezy. Yeah. They've been rocking with loudspeaker for a minute, you know, and um yeah, it's just it's just one of those things. Like it's, I feel like it's their time. Mm. Like it's really just time yeah. for them to take us to the next level. Yeah, yeah, man. Like why are we not talking about horrible decisions? Like we talk about guys we fucked and did, 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 yeah, they call me father girls. Yeah, you know what I mean. They're like not fucking enough celebs, bro. No, to, that's what it takes. Get shit on, yo. Yeah. How bad do you want it? But no, that's not what, how bad do you want it. That's bro? not what guys we fuck do, though. They probably no, 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 no. But guys we fuck with interview every guy they fucked. That's how it started. Oh. And then it became like a sexual empowerment uh, podcast and they just have regular... So horrible like decisions have to that. start talking about the horrible decisions they make. Yo, I mean... That's they do? do. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Take it, you gotta... I think they gotta take it next level. I think you gotta get defecated on. Their shows are wild, though. I've been to, I've been to their live shows with it's the great. Dama, Dama, Dama. It's great. So what's, good. What's the Matrix shit? 
Dominatrix. There you go. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> that shit. <laughs> Matrix. Um, but thank you for being Diamond, my Diamond, partners. Diamond. <laughs> um, dropping gems with Debbie Brown, my sister Debbie Brown. Yeah. Debbie is in the mindfulness That's a great space. Name for her podcast. It's amazing because she's into the stones. That's it. Shit. She's, That's in the, she's in the men, mental health and mindfulness. Me and Dev been rocking with each other for 13, 14, 15 years now. Like, what up, Dev? Dev is a person I used to, when I first met her, it was Chuck Taylor's and, you know, her telling me about the dopest new West Coast hip hop. Right. Now it's her telling me about Deepak Chopra and mindfulness and stones and whatnot, you know, got me hugging trees. <laughs> oh, and Dev got you, huh? What's interesting with Dev, Dev introduced me to this next person who I had Love, it's my partner. I, I, he's whenever he opens his mouth, whether it's the rap or the talk, he stirs shit up. Glasses Malone, I love glasses, yeah. bro. Launching the No Ceilings podcast with Glasses Malone, I love. Um, the West Coast has been severely, severely underserved when it comes to the hip hop podcast. Mm. You know what I'm saying? You look at the East Coast. East Coast got drink champs. East Coast got you know um, Joe Budden. East Coast yeah, what got is rap West radar. Coast? Just no jumper. Oh no, that's what he said. Yeah. Oh, I didn't yeah, know that. Well, I'm talking about black. That, say again. I'm talking about black. What? <laughs> <laughs> what you What you say, bro? <laughs> say black like that one more time. <laughs> That's what the Twitter comments for me are always. And the YouTube comments. So say black like that with a capital B. I don't like how he says that. But no, no ceilings by Glasses Malone. He's my partner. And another one, man. Uh, Gangster Chronicles, man. <laughs> Gangster Chronicles with my man MC8. Okay, James McDonald. All right, and Norman Steele, okay? Those, those, those are my partners. I, I feel like they're going to really, really make a lot of noise. They're already making a lot of noise. I actually enjoy their podcast. I used to watch their podcast on YouTube. That's why I wanted to, to partner with them. But mm -hmm. also in the sports world, man, Stephen Smith Sr., Yeah, you know, uh, he's got a podcast on the network called Cut To It. That's actually available right now. What do you mean Steve Smith, the wide receiver? Steve Smith, the wide receiver for, used to be for the uh, Carolina Panthers. Come on, man. Dude, this is Baltimore Ravens as well. This yes. is like one of the all-time shit talkers. Absolutely. Oh, I'll listen to that. That's great. Absolutely. You can go He's check. Legend, dude. You, you can go check Cut To It Out right now. Yeah. Um, uh, in the mental health mindfulness space, uh, Michelle Williams. Yes, that Michelle Williams from Destiny's Child. Mm -hmm. She has a podcast called Checking In. Okay. Uh, me and Michelle have been friends for, man, Lord have mercy. She told me she was just literally saying this the other day. It's had at least since like 06, 07, some shit like that. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So it's good to be in business with her, partnering with her. Uh, somebody who I find extremely funny, Flame Monroe. Oh, uh, yeah. Shout out to Flame, bro. Flame uh, has She's a been on this podcast. Yes. And, and, and she has a podcast on the Black Effect Network called Laugh and Learn, executive produced by my sister Tiffany Haddish. Hey. Okay, so y'all can check that out. As far as the politics and social justice, I got Queen Tamika Mallory and my son. They got their politicians, street politicians. Oh, wow. Yeah, Hot Happy Mess. Uh, not hot, well, I'm going to get to Hot Happy Mess. Um, Hello Somebody with Senator Nina Turner. Whoa. Yeah, and uh, Straight Shot, No Chaser with Teslin Figaro. You know, um, so the social justice political aspect is covered. I'm happy that they partnered with me. Ebony K. Williams will handle all the law stuff with holding court. Ebony's been a guest on the Brilliant Idiots podcast yeah. and the Breakfast Club several times. Um, hot, happy mess with Zori Hall. You know, hey. Zori is family. Zori is family. Shouts to Zori, and, and, man. You know, when, when I heard that she was out shopping a podcast, we just so happened to be at the same agency. So I'm like, uh, yeah. Shout out to Zuri. Yo, Zuri, you still owe us money for the RV for Burning Man. Huh. That's why I let what you know. What happened? <laughs> she just never paid us. <laughs> she was like, I'll crash with you. We are like, all right, cool. <laughs> but we didn't think it was like real How crash. much she owe you? Huh? How much she owe you? How much she owe us, Al? I don't know. A couple grand. Damn, Zuri. We'll take have, it out of your paycheck. You might have to take, out, take that out your ad revenue. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> First couple grand coming to me. All right, uh, who am I missing? Oh, uh, Bonang Matiba. Oh, big time. Shout out to South Africa. Africa what's happening? Um, hey, Zuzu she, Zella or whatever. Bonang. What's what? that shit? <laughs> what's that thing? That, were, that Boo what? Zella or whatever. Remember that, that instrument that they were doing during the World Cup? <laughs> I don't know what the hell he's talking about. Y'all remember that? No. I don't know what you're talking about. It's just like... At football games? Yeah, we're doing it at the World Cup. No. 
Stop Broke looking at me no like I said game. racist things, bro. <laughs> I don't know if you're the that. ones that are ignorant. Here's the thing. I know <laughs> these things. Here's the thing. What about your people? I don't know about his culture. The fuck? I don't know. I'm just making sure. Why I teach y'all about black shit? When you hear Andrew say something, you look around everybody else's. Should I be offended? I don't know if that was, <laughs> that was racist. Now. Vuvuzela, bro. But Bonang's podcast is untitled. Um, <laughs> but she'll have a title for it soon. But I'm happy to be partnering with her because she definitely don't need a partner. Bonang is an international superstar. Yeah, okay. Yeah. The Vuvuzela. What is that? Plastic horn. About 65 centimeters long. That's two feet. Maybe that should be the name of her podcast. This should be called Vuvuzela. Hosted by Bonang Matiba. Exact, which no, produces a loud monotone note, typically a B minor. I don't know what the fuck that is, but still, that shit is fire. Everybody knows about Vuvuzelas. Get your shit right. Thanks for coming. Oh, um, uh, I don't even know what a Vuvuzela is, bro. I'm excited about this one too. Um, On the Kudu horn, Vuvuzela was used to summon distant villagers to attend community. Okay, gathering. it's not racist, Andrew. You proved yeah, your I mean, point. Like Vuvuzela. <laughs> that's all he's trying to do. It's not racist. Know. We get it, Andrew. It's okay, all right, it's fine. Okay, it's, said, it's like, not racist. It wasn't racist. Vuvuzela is commonly used in football matches in South Africa, <laughs> Africa, South Africa, in case y'all wanted to know. It's become a symbol of South African football as the stadiums yeah, are filled with its sound. Yeah. Okay, there you go. Vuvuzela, right. learn something. Um, AJ and Tam Bam. Uh, AJ is from Charleston, Ooh, South Carolina. That was close, bro. That could have been bad. <laughs> you cleaned it up nice. AJ is from Charleston, South Carolina. That's a lifelong friend. Mm-hmm. Um, Taylor's gonna be Taylor's gonna be executive producing their podcast too. Really? Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, Taylor works for the Black Foot. Oh, this, oh, that's, oh, it's just this thing called jobs. All right, two more. Go. Uh, we get it, bro. You got a lot of podcasts. Huh? Jess hilarious. <laughs> oh, you got Jess. Jess hilarious. Her beautiful problematic self. Mm-hmm. Uh, she has a podcast called Carefully Reckless. Yeah. And I know this is a good sign. Because I just saw, I just, I just got to send her album artwork, even though she been had it, because we've been working on this for a long time. Yeah. And last but certainly not least, man, man, three brothers that I am such, like, literal fans of. Like, I really love what these brothers do individually. I love what they do collectively. These brothers definitely did not need no partner in any way, shape, or form. Mm-hmm. And trust me. <laughs> It wasn't easy, <laughs> right? Yeah. It wasn't easy, but I, I I get it, and I'm so happy that they decided to partner, man. 85 South hey. Show, Carlos Miller. I love those guys, DC man. Young Fly, Chico Bean. Salute to my guy, Chad, man. I'm glad that we could, you know, form a partnership and make some really dope shit happen, man. So, yes, we're launching with um 18 Podcasts, and we got some other specialty podcasts for, like, Especially you were telling me ones. about these. This yes. is actually a really good idea. I'm surprised people haven't done this in the well, past. Well, that's, that's why we're going to show people how to do it. So okay. what's going to happen is these artists are going to come out, and these artists, when they put out their albums, yep. they may not want to run around and do the radio circuit. You know what I mean? So do, do a four to five podcast series Talking about, about the your album, album. talk you know about I mean? it at length. You don't have to do it in between. Same thing with actors. You know what I mean? Yeah. They got movies coming out. They can do the same thing. I got I got I got two lined up right now that I'm. I'm gonna let those press Marinate. releases come out later. No, they'll be out real. I mean, real, real, real soon. But yeah. you know, I don't want to shoot my whole load. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> want to shoot a little of it? It's a little bit. That of seems it. You know even I mean? worse, bro. You're gonna bust like Just a little bit of it. But please, thank y'all. Um, Black Effect Podcast Network. I hope we didn't oversell it. We just here to do the work. Yeah. Um, and you know, I, I want this to be to the audio business what BET was to television in the '90s. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, I want it to be a place where you can come and get entertained, educated, and enlightened. And I want, you know, black people to make some goddamn money. That's you know? Right. So salute to all my partners in the Black Effect Podcast Network, all the podcasts that we partnered with, and and, and iHeartRadio, of course. 5050 Joint Venture. If you don't know what a joint venture is, go Google it. Yeah. You know what I mean? And if you don't believe it's a joint venture, then just sit back in five years when, you know, we on the Forbes list. Ooh. That's all I'm saying. Ooh, Listen, God is good. If I had a Vuvuzela, I'd be blowing this up. Right now. <laughs> Shut up man. I would. Shut what you do up, to man. celebrate in South Africa? It's Let's, an African thing. You guys probably wouldn't know anything about it. <laughs> what do we? What, what okay. do we got, Taylor? What are we doing, Taylor? <laughs> hey, uh, there's some stuff from shit you're not gonna care about. Oh, what we got? What are we gonna not well, care about next week? Shit, we won't care about next week. What we got? Well. 
or you don't have any brilliant, pro- positively brilliant, or what a fucking idiot. Oh shit, we forgot all about that. I think we did. I would at the say beginning. what a fucking idiot was the Forbes title. Positively brilliant was learning a new way to care about your animals and and be a new <laughs> very true yeah like cutting very true stopping the limitations very true. of affection with your animals. And I thought that that was absolutely positively Actually, brilliant. Based off perspective, it could be either one. And what a fucking idiot yeah. that we are for not doing that with our dogs in the past. <laughs> Thank God no. I didn't. Literally, that is the beginning. So now retrofit that. We're good. We did. Positively brilliant. What okay. a fucking idiot. Okay, so y'all want to talk about the Dr. Dre's wife, two million a month temporary spousal spas- I can't I, 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 spousal I, I, support. Spousal support. Thank yeah. you. I was looking at that all wrong when I first saw it. Okay. I was and, and, a, and a listener okay. actually, I can't remember her name. I think her name was Sandra. She called the uh, Breakfast Club. And she said, we're looking at this with regular eyes. Talk to us. And we are. Okay. I want to hear it. When we look at the $2 million a month. Ouch. We're not looking at it from the perspective of a woman who was married to a man who's worth a billion plus. Can I say something? Yes, please. Is it possible that the same thing that we were saying earlier applies? You don't get what you're worth. You get what you What you negotiate. negotiate. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe $2 million a month to a billionaire. Isn't that bad? Based uh-huh. off somebody that you've been with for 20 years and they know where all the bones Bodies are buried. Are buried. And why. she threw out she got leverage. a body already. I think she's just dangling it. What'd she say? Not really a body, but she threw out a little information. Yeah, I was a little, I, I didn't understand. I mean, listen, I don't know. Yeah, I get it. I get it. Here's, here's the thing with that too, though. There was only certain things on the list. I'm not mad that she wants those things. I just want to know why. Oh, I think what? they're absurd. You can't nine hundred thousand in entertainment. What the son, fuck is so entertaining, son? No, no. Uh, nothing. There's nine hundred thousand. Nine hundred thousand a no, month no. in entertainment. No, 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 no. How? No, no. The the most hilarious one was uh, where is it? One hundred and twenty five thousand dollars a month in charity. Charity. <laughs> you can't ask someone to give you money to give money. Somebody else. Yeah, your charity. How do you feel good about that? Yeah. <laughs> How you how, like seriously? How do you feel good about that? Who gets that blessing? Who does the universe wow. reward if I give you one hundred twenty five thousand dollars to give away, yeah. and you're already getting two million a month? Yeah, wow. is that not enough to give away for charity? Maybe if you cut your entertainment bill, yeah, yeah, to a, a reasonable fifty grand a month. I mean, maybe. that's hilarious. You need nine hundred thousand dollars for entertainment, only wow. one hundred twenty five thousand for charity. I'm gonna tell you Come what on, else bro. is wild, bro. $10,000 laundry and cleaning bill. Yeah. And bro. then $135,000 for clothes? Yeah, you don't need to do laundry. You yet. should be throwing away everything yeah. you wear <laughs> for 135 grand a month. Yeah, dude. It sucks twice. Nah, that's crazy. <laughs> and then, look, this is the funny part. Think, look yeah. about, look, look, really look at this, guys. Yep. 900000 in entertainment. Yep. 60 grand in education. 125 in charitable. Only a hundred grand a month in mortgage. Why do you have a mortgage? <laughs> Maybe if you didn't spend nine hundred thousand dollars in entertainment, right. you wouldn't have a mortgage. Why do you have a mortgage? Is there a reason for a mortgage? Yes. Why do you? Yo, come on, man. Look at the cell phone, though. The email. What's so email? what is this? This is alimony. I don't know what the fuck. By, by the way, this is just in the interim. This is just until the shit this is, is finalized. Robbery. This is robbery. This is a yeah, placeholder. This is robbery. Bro. This is robbery. Now nah, it's crazy, man. Yeah, you only man. ask for shit like this if you done yeah. what? If you, uh, what? Yeah. if you did fingers yeah. and booty holes? Yeah, she she must got him <laughs> on to take. <laughs> doing I'm not saying house. that happened. I don't want nobody to sit here and say I'm saying that happened. I'm just saying nah. to be this bold. Yeah, bold. you you gotta have you some leverage, something. bro. You know something. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta, gotta have, have some leverage, leverage, bro. You got a lot bro. of leverage. You know? Absolutely. So you gotta decide before you let your wife do some shit to you, man. Ooh, you really gotta, gotta decide, that, man. man. That's a wild thing. You really gotta decide. You you let your wife do that. But that's why I talk about it. What? That's why I talk about it. You man. try to get out in front of it. Ain't no leverage. Interesting. You know what I'm saying? Interesting. Wow. Interesting. <laughs> now, what if she said okay, she... What if she about? said... You try that and pop your fingers off. What's that? You try to you put your finger up in my butt. Hell, You're going to pop your fingers off? Why? Wow, you just going to clench your butt cheeks and snap it off? <laughs> it's probably not even going to go in there. It's probably not even going to go in there. What do you mean it's not going to go in there? What if it just goes in there super smooth? Just like... Nah, what if it's just mac and cheese? Just sliding the spoon in <laughs> 
what if, what if that's what if that's how easy <laughs> that's one, you gonna have to lube something up or you gonna feel something being lubed up down there what if she pre-lubes you? dude you don't know Bro, you are right turning on some butt. dogs right now right now <laughs> it's people listening to this with their dogs right now and it's just pink penises just getting hard all throughout the fucking country listening to wax talk about this shit my that's god <laughs> Better not try that shit, girl. Jesus Christ. Better not try that shit, girl. Better not try that shit, girl. <laughs> Come on, bro. That's the mother of your child. She can't put that's a few fingers and a thumb up your butt. Me son. Thank what if God. she goes like this? What if she makes a like a little beak, like a bird beak, she and then just she, goes she in like that. that? She don't even want me to chill. <laughs> what if she do the beak and just peck at yeah, it? Yeah, just a little <laughs> woodpecker. Like little, little seeds. Yeah. <laughs> She's telling you she don't even care for She wouldn't even want that for me. What if she flips a vuvuzela backwards and just shares <laughs> <laughs> that shit? <laughs> Alex, let me see what a vuvuzela yeah. looks like. Let's go! <laughs> Let's learn today, guys! <laughs> Let's just learn! Why? That's oh, what shit. I'm talking Alex about. Alex know how to spell that shit, yo. He spelled it right. I guess. Yeah, that's yeah. A, yeah. At least someone's black around here. Yeah. At least someone knows. Man, he does not spell it because it sounds Spanish. The long trumpet. What? Yeah, that shit can go up in anus. That could go up in an anus, yeah, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. That be that go right up in an anus, dog. Vuvuzela. Vuvuzela, and listen to the sound of it. The sound sounds like flatulence. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like flatulence. It does. What else, Taylor? Um, the Canelo and um. Golden Boy? Shoes. I don't know his name. I don't understand though. what's going on with this, man. I got to talk to Ak and uh, Barack about this. I don't know what the fuck's going on. Because he's not suing for past money. He's suing for money that he didn't make in 2020. Because they didn't set the fight or some shit like that. Ah, interesting. I think from what I read, I could be reading this all wrong. Do you know this is the brilliant this podcast? So I don't know. Yeah. But I thought I read something like that. Well, they signed that crazy contract with the zone. 360 million? 360 million. But he needs to fight in order to get it, I guess. Yes. And they're yeah. probably not it's doing like the fights ball. because there's no people in the stands and that affects the gate and that affects how much Golden Boy can make. Oh, yeah. That's my assumption. Yeah. Yeah. Now, but they pay per view, though. That's. But I guess Golden Boy is like, yo, we just put it all in the pot. Why am I going to give away $8 million? Why don't we wait until we can do the gate? Fuck Canelo. We got him signed. That's the other thing. When you're signed, you're owned. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They yeah, fucking yeah. got you. He took the you, bag, man. though. He took the bag. And that's why bag. I didn't get it. He took the bag. Because you know, sometimes you see that money in front of you and it's so hard to say no. Because you're not looking at your freedom in front of you. That's why you got to respect Money Mayweather. Say what you that want. That motherfucker. He figured out business. You know what he did? He bought himself out. Of his contract with Bob Arum for I forget exactly how much money he bought himself, paid his own cash. I imagine it's on maybe it was his business partners, but still. And then he went on and made a billion dollars or eight hundred fifty million. He said on Drink right. Champs, yeah, uh, your podcast on the Black, I thought, Black I, Network. I thought I thought Al Heyman was his guy. Al Heyman's always been his guy. Was his business partner. Yeah, but then yeah. he has another guy as well, Leonard Leonard Ellerby. Ellerby. Yeah, yeah. But like still, like it. that's a guy who fucking believed himself and then cashed the fuck. But in, you got to get to that point. That's all. It's just about getting to that point. <laughs> yeah. And he got to that point. What else, Taylor Gang? Uh, the Kardashians are finally wow. leaving wow. air. I'm happy. Don't about care that. about that this week. Okay. I mean, that makes sense, though, right? What are they going to do? Their whole show is about lifestyle and like going out to fancy places and enjoying dinners, that kind of stuff. It's like, it's cool. Corona. What you going to film? Yeah. You're not going to be able to film anything fun in terms of reality show for another year. So you might as well just cut it down. I don't think they can catch up too. anymore. I mean, I don't think they can keep up anymore. What you mean? I don't think they can keep up with how fast life goes. Ah, so by the time the show comes out, it's like, yo, we've been yeah. there, we've done that, like, we don't care. And they're probably at the point now where they're like, yo, we're not reenacting none of this shit no more. Mm. Yo, you missed all of this shit. You know what I mean? No, for real. Like, back in the day, they would reenact this shit yeah. and show it to you again or the cameras rolling. Now it's just like, nah, fuck yeah. that. And they hit the mother low with Bruce being a girl. You know what I'm saying? So that's like- Hard else, to beat. Yeah. What else are you going to do after that? Hard to beat. What they're going to do is they're going to wait for their children to get a little bit older and then just- Re- you think the next generation? Yes, that's exactly. If Chris don't die, a new class. If Chris stay alive, yeah. <laughs> Why do you need Chris? Because Chris, she's like the the, the brain think, of this whole thing. I think the rest of them know business. I think Kim knows business Kim knows way business. better than we give yeah. her credit for. Yeah. Kylie definitely knows business because let's be for yeah. real, Peace. nobody else had a makeup line. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Somebody, somebody connected Peace. the dots with her, and she had the wherewithal to say, "Yeah, I am going to do my own makeup line and partner with right. partner." Yeah. With these people and make yeah. a fucking billion dollars. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 What else, Taylor? Um, the vaccine that should be ready in October. November. I called this. I called this. Don't, uh... I called this. <laughs> what do you mean? I called this. I said it's Donald Trump shot. is going I said when I when I heard that Russia was making a vaccine, I said Trump is gonna come with this vaccine. Yeah. He's gonna give it to you on November 2nd, November 1st, November 2nd. Yeah. 
and you'll be incapacitated till November. <laughs> I'm telling you. I'm mean? telling you. I promise you. Huh? What that mean? What? Incapacitated. It's like right after you jerk the dog off and they just like pass out and they yeah. just lay in there and they don't move. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why <laughs> I don't take that side. That's why I ain't take the ever take the flu shot. I don't trust none. So you don't jerk off the dog? Okay, listen. <laughs> what do you think a flu shot is, bro? Um, I don't know. I never try to take it. I don't want to take none of that. No vaccines, none of that shit. Oh, you don't believe in vaccines? I don't do none of that shit. Yeah. Yo, my mom told me this weekend she never took a vaccine in her life. Yo, that was wild. And she's a school teacher. Well, no, she, she never had the flu shot, not a vaccine. She, she never yeah, had I the never flu, got shot. flu shot. Really? Yeah, yeah I, don't, I don't fuck with that. For what? Trash. You get the flu. Okay. All right, guys. <laughs> <laughs> no, Why are you on flu shot. shots? Why are you on flu shot? I got a flu when I got the flu shot. What's the point of the flu That's shot? That's the whole point of the flu shot, too. Well, it gives you like a small dose of it no, that you I can was handle. Mad sick yeah, don't do that shit. And that was like years ago. All right, how about this? Are y'all going to take the vaccine when it comes out? No. no. Hell no. no. Hell no. I'm not doing that shit. Why not? Nah. Why not? No. Yo, they they they, they, <laughs> they just stopped it in New England. I think it was no whoa, bro. <laughs> why, why are y'all not gonna take the fucking vaccine? Man, I'm not it's taking really that vizine. shit. It's too funny it's for vizine me, bro. They put in there. It's vaccine. I'm not touching that no, shit. No, they put crazy stuff. Wax, in. if you don't pull that off your face, Yo, you fucking you ninja you turtle off, looking right? motherfucker. Yo, you don't stop coughing. Yo, that's what you need to stop doing. Stop coughing it. He looks like he wanna be Mickey Mouse, but he don't want to commit. You know, you put the nose on first. <laughs> he look at yeah, he look with the nose on and he'll put the ears on. <laughs> Looking all crazy. I don't know. Anyway, I'm not taking the vaccine when it first comes out because take the mask no, off, bro. By the Come way, on. when I got my corona shot, <clears throat> my corona um fucking test this morning, yeah. The doctor, I'm not gonna say his name because I don't know if he's supposed to be giving this information, but I, maybe he does. He said he puts out a newsletter. He is his name's Dr. Stu. Dr. Stu said, do not take the fucking vaccine when it comes out in I November. Know, I don't. You don't want to be the first motherfucker to take that. Yeah, you got to let... It's like the new iPhone. You got to let the, all the kinks he get said, He said it. February at the latest. Yeah, Black He said History. February when it goes... <laughs> like, yeah. wow. Yeah. Black too late rats. by then, though. Lab rats. It's too late by then. Trump might go... He might pay you to take that shit. So the thing is, is not whether Trump pays you. It's whether the government and Republicans wouldn't do this. Probably Democrats would do this. Will force you to take the vaccine or to have the vaccine in order to like Go to a job in a regular stores, place. Go to parks. Yeah, go to grocery stores. They're sure. like, if you're not vaccinated, you can't come in here because you get you people sick. Idea. If I'm a politician, if I'm a po if I'm a Democrat, I wouldn't want them to have a vaccine. That helps. Oh, of course. Yeah. So Democrats I, I, don't want. Yo, it, just in Seattle this uh, this week, the lady was like, uh, "We're extending the lockdown until November 3rd. Like, oh, until the election day? <laughs> you just want everybody locked in until the election oh day? Oh my god! Come on. Yeah, I don't. Um, I'm yeah, I'm just simply not taking the vaccine until. I don't. I'm probably not ever taking the vaccine. To be honest with you, yeah. Like, why? If everybody else get it, they cool. Yeah. If you get old, maybe the right thing to do. Yeah, is Yeah, when you it. get older, yeah. you know what I'm saying. As long as we can fight it off now with CMOS, we good. Bro, if Ginger you're not shots. fat, you're good. Mm. Literally, it's fat people or other comorbidities. Why are you looking at me? Because stay inside your body. Yo, that. What? what, so, you, what why are you, are you that's at fucked me? up, right? What? That's as soon as he said up. that, he looked at me. Yeah, that's fucked oh, up, yo. <laughs> no, I, oh, yo. I, thought, I, thought, I thought you could come home. I was talking to Wax. You, you might have to swing on him, yo. You might have to swing on him. Because you juked up like something scared you. <laughs> you oh. might have to swing on him, Taylor, for real. <laughs> <What>? That's <laughs> crazy, Taylor. What? That's what I need. Say again? I'm that hungry. gun you have. Yeah, get that Nerf gun. Why? Because what you did was disrespectful. I didn't do nothing. You did. I, I didn't said, do nothing. If you're fat, you could die from Corona. And you turn your head. <laughs> no, you turn your head. I took this way. And and wax was talking. You didn't look at Wax. No. You turn your head and you looked at Taylor. That's and then Taylor, Taylor looked up and made a face. So I was looking to see what she was making a face at. She, she, she was making a face at you looking at her. Corona? No. What? what are you talking about? Yo, but that's fucked up, right? What's fucked up? <laughs> Yo, you got to beat him up for that, dude. What you can't you let that about? shit go. What are you talking about? What? She got corona? Can no, she don't have corona, her? bro. <laughs> this guy is crazy, dude. Yo, Wax. You don't have a mask, yo. yo I ain't fucking with crazy. it, bro. Wax really crazy, bro. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> she does not have a corona. No, that's not what we're talking about. What the fuck about? is he talking about? Charlotte's saying that she should have been. so mad? Why did you look like that, Taylor? Seriously, though. Um, what are you talking about? Oh, okay. <laughs> did you think that Charlotte was implying that you should be concerned about corona? Yes. And that would be disrespectful. What? what? Wax, I can't that? take you seriously like this. 
looks like Black Zorro. <laughs> <laughs> I, can't, I can't do this I right now. Black, Black, I can't do this. Hey, Zorro drunk as shit. You trying to put on the eyes? It's, it's <laughs> I just said about the corona, and now you over here talking about, hey, do you, are you mad because he's talking about you got the corona? What? No. Wax, Wax, it's all good, bro. Wax, it's all good, dog. It's yeah. all good, dude. I'm lost. Yeah, I, know. I don't know what's going on either. Neither do I. Anyways. Give us some Ask an Idiot. Let's, well, let's get hold on. You guys have out. two more ads. Okay, my bad. Two more ads? For real? Yeah, yeah we out here balling, bro. Damn. You know what I mean? Y'all want to do them now? All right, we're going to take a break for a second. Look, we got to pay some bills. And let me tell you something. Get that food delivered to your crib, okay? You don't want to be out in a grocery store catching that Rona. I don't care if a vaccine is there or not. You don't want to be there. Okay, you see how dirty that food is anyway. The first time we got to wash it, we notice. All I'm saying is you could continue to feed yourself and support local restaurants in your community safely. Okay, thousands of these restaurants need your help. DoorDash is going to help you do that. Support your favorite restaurants on DoorDash. DoorDash is an app that brings you food you are craving right now, right to your door. Ordering is easy. Open the DoorDash app, choose what you want to eat, and your food will be left safely outside your door with the new contactless delivery drop-off setting. With over 300,000 partners in the U.S., Puerto Rico, Canada, and Australia, you can support your local go-tos or choose from your favorite national restaurants like Chipotle, Wendy's, and a Cheesecake Factory. Mm, that Cheesecake Factory is bomb. Many of your local restaurants are still open for, for delivery. So just go to the DoorDash app and go get them. Right now, our listeners can get $5 off their first order of $15 or more and zero delivery fees on their first month when you download the DoorDash app and enter the code IDIOTS. You hear that? You just get five free dollars and zero delivery fees for the first month when you download the DoorDash app in the App Store and enter the code IDIOTS. Don't forget, that code is IDIOTS. $5 off your first order with DoorDash and... Guys, this is very important. Look, is there something that is interfering with your happiness or preventing you from achieving your goals? BetterHelp will assess your needs and match you with your own licensed professional therapist. Listen, if there's any podcast, if there's any person that's been more uh, pro mental health and the importance of therapy and uh, for us of talking to people and working through your problems, working through your traumas. I don't know if it's possible that it'd be something that's more supportive than that than Charlemagne. And you can do that over at BetterHelp. You can start communicating under 48 hours. It's not a crisis hotline, by the way. It's not a self-help hotline. It is a professional counseling done securely online. Broad range of expertise, which may or not be uh, locally available, but in many areas, the service is available for clients worldwide. Okay, you can log into your account anytime and send a message to your counselor. You get timely and thoughtful responses. Plus, you can schedule weekly video or phone sessions so you won't ever have to sit in an uncomfortable waiting room as traditional therapy. It's just so funny. So many people when we were first working with BetterHelp were like, oh, I'm not going to do therapy online. I'm not going to do therapy through FaceTime. I'm not going to do therapy on the phone. And then Corona came out. And how are you doing therapy? Literally. Exactly. So this is the way it's done. They were ahead of the curve. I want you to go to right now. Right now, you can visit betterhelp.com slash brilliant. That's betterhelp, H E L P.com slash brilliant. Okay. Join over a million people taking charge of their mental health with the help of experienced professionals. In fact, so many people have been using BetterHelp that they are recruiting additional counselors in all 50 states. So if you're a counselor, go get that as well. Okay. They're looking for more. Special offer for our listeners. You get 10% off your first month at betterhelp.com slash brilliant. That's betterhelp.com slash brilliant. Now let's get back to the show. So. All right. What was we about to do? Ask an idiot. Ask an idiot. Let's do some ask an idiot, guys. Right, and so get up out of here. All right. I like ready? the studio. I like the energy in here, man. Thank you, bro. That's dope. Thank you. I think we'll, we'll warm it up. We'll put some more things in here. Nah. Congratulations. Congratulations. Nah, this is dope. Thank you, man. Thank you. Yeah, this is Studio B. Obviously, you guys have seen the flagrant studios over there, Studio A. And then we got the monologue. We're doing cool things over here, man. I don't think that, I'm being honest with you, I don't think Andrew gets enough credit um, for, you know, just being, a, for being an entrepreneur, but just, you know, what what he's built. Like, this is his this own is studio in fucking Brooklyn. This is his. Thank you, man. Not his man's apartment. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I mean? Like, the this, this is the closet. This is his. Like, it's a studio he built Proud. in Brooklyn. And I mean, just even, and you did that on your own. Yeah. Like yeah. straight up shooting shit off digitally. Yeah. It was taking cool. the chance and giving up fucking owl pieces of your stand up routines. Yeah. 
And now. Wow. You're doing all right. You got most fucking, you got more YouTube subscribers than some of your favorite podcasts. Yeah, it's been cool. Yeah, man. Nah, it's been yeah. cool, man. Thank it's you, dope. bro. And I can't do it, obviously, without Alex. And I mean, you could, but you choose to. <laughs> 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 Don't you forget it. <laughs> Black Black fuck with you, Alex, my man. Yeah. Now, you know what I mean. <laughs> shout out to Al, shout out to Akash, shout out to Mark, man. Shout out to everybody that's helped us. That's do Mark it. out there? Uh, no, no, that's Robbie. Robbie. Yeah, okay. yeah. Who, what we got, Taylor? Ask an idiot. All right. Um, so Uncle Jake Washier says, is paying for porn cheating or does that just make me a classier meat beater? Wow. A classier meat beater. Why would paying for porn be cheating? I can see why. Make the argument for me. I mean, it's just kind of like you're paying to see another vagina. But if you're not paying to see the vagina, then it's okay? It's probably a bigger argument if you get caught paying for it as opposed to just looking at it. I think your girl will be more upset, right? Yeah. Yeah. Taking something away from us to do something that you know I'm not going to like. Yeah. It's like you're... Yeah, if I bet a girl would be furious if she found out you were paying for porn. If you're just whacking off to porn, it's free. This is just being a guy. It's yeah. like going to have beers you're with the dog. guys. You're dog a dog. Off. It's like, yeah. I don't want you to be drunk with your friends, but sometimes you're drunk with your friends. But yeah, if you're paying for I'm not porn. not going to be drunk with my friends watching porn, Andrew. Say again? That's what you're saying? He's drunk. Nah, I'm saying you just go. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about, bro. I know he's like, he's drunk with your friends. I'm like, I'm not drunk with my friends watching porn. Like, what are you saying? I mean, I'm not sober with my friends watching porn. Hell no. What's wrong with watching porn with friends? Why would you (laughs) What? Huh? I'm watching porn with my guy friends. Man, knock it off, man. We grew up as kids. You and a bunch of we little boys was kids, looking through right? Playboys. I'm not we a kid no more, Watching bro. Bang Bros. 36 years old. I don't call my boys to come over, do fantasy football, and then watch fantasy porn. But what's the difference between being 15 and 16 and watching porn with your boys? Bro, and being, I'm not getting hard <laughs> with my boys. Like, there's a reason why I Nah, I would be porn. hard with my boys when we were all watching porn together. <laughs> Alex, what's going on, man? Um, Yo, you know, nah, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> he be by the he Hey, bro, I was watching porn. Okay, let's, I was let's, watching let's, porn let's, with let's, my let's, boys. My parents, I remember my mom did the classic immigrant thing. She got some, no, this is high school. Okay. But she, she finally got <laughs> some money and then she bought the complete cable package. You know how, like, when you first oh, get yeah. money, you oh, haven't yeah. had, like, real money before? Like, you spend it on shit that you're like, you don't cable. need to. So she got the whole cable, but she's like, I want all the channels. Yes. And we had the porn channels. Nice. So we'd come back, me and the homies, you know, go back to the room. Yes. Watch the porn. There were probably times that I was erect and my friends were around. They might have been erect too. We weren't sitting on each other's laps. It was just watching Listen, porn as friends I, I, at a safe I, okay, distance. Okay. We were socially I, I distanced. Showed girl, I showed like girls playing with themselves on the phone or... Like, you showed me naked you showed, pictures. Dude, I'll die. Like, come on. I you showed. Alex, come on. I you showed. I was hard I every time. <laughs> every time. <laughs> I was erect. You was? Wax. I'm mad as hell to know that. Hey, <laughs> it is what it is. Listen, okay? When the, when the internet Thank you very started, much. The internet first started, Damn. you watch shit like Bang Bros oh, with yeah. your boys, man. Legendary. Come on, man. You Eight three Latinas. Yo, bro, we never did that. We never watched porn together. That's a lot. No, you guys said, Where? have had sex with women together. That's You've both different. been hard in the That's same different. room with your dicks That's out. Different. But you don't look at it. No, no, you don't, no. You don't look at You're it. not going to judge me for having my dick hard pushed up against my belly button and my jeans wrapped you around it, dog, constricting bro. it. You were hard with your dick and flesh open it for your boy to see that. sweat You're dripping not. off your forehead, nah. falling on his dick and chest. Let the record show... <laughs> I've never completed any of those train rides. I always he jump the fuck of off because the shit feels stupid. Yeah, well, if you did it more than once, uh, no. Once I was once I was in the room, right? Because Wax was in there. <laughs> and, <laughs> so, and, so what happened was no. Uh, so I went. Uh, I don't remember how it started. Yeah, yeah. I just remember oh, yeah. oh, that I got the fuck out of there. Because Wax was doing the little... Wax was doing too much. Wax, was, <laughs> Wax make me feel uncomfortable. He got his Tim like this on the bed. And he just... I'm like, yeah, bro, come on, man. All right, man. I'm getting the fuck out. That was the first black effect. 
<laughs> he put that Tim on the table. <laughs> Let me show you. And then I'm thing. short. So if I'm short and Wax is tall, yeah. and the woman is in front, yeah. and say Wax hitting it from the back, and then she doing something to me, yeah. all I see is Wax. Yeah. <laughs> You just, no, she's a table eye. and you're having a little picnic with Wax. <laughs> That's literally what it is. You had dinner with Wax. Both of you butt ass naked, dicks out fully hard. All Nothing right, could man. be gayer than that, yo. I want to hear no judgment, bro. I'm so glad. Nothing could be gayer than that. I thank God. I thank God we grew up. Amen. I swear to God, <laughs> man. The Amen. 20s was a wild time, bro. For no reason. Lord have mercy, man. Jesus <laughs> Christ. Stupid <laughs> shit. What the fuck are we doing? Dumb shit. Uh, Give me right. another one, Taylor. Thank God for growth. Okay, well, I don't know. This is so much growth. Uh, would you rather have a vagina on your forehead? Oh, sorry. This is for insensitive culture. <laughs> would you rather have a vagina on your forehead or dicks on your back like a stegosaurus? Stegosaurus has got dicks on their back? <laughs> I guess so. I mean, I guess the pussy for sure. <laughs> hmm. A diamond on my forehead. Or dicks on my back. Why are you back? It's a vagina on my forehead? Yeah. I'd probably have the dicks on my back because I could hide those way easier. Yeah. Yeah, you can wear a shirt. Yeah, a mm. vagina on oh, my forehead. You mean, like, you mean like the tattoos? But then again, you can wear a hat to cover <laughs> I thought your you meant like a girl no, but... sitting on your fucking, on your, on, your, on your forehead and the guy's putting their meats on your back. That's what I'm thinking. Is this a new segment of the show called Ask a High Question? Like, what, like I'm trying to figure out why. Yeah, this is, this is even like, the thing I don't that you it. just imagined was wild as fuck. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? That was wild. What you just imagined was wild. <laughs> Those tattoos. I didn't know those tattoos. <laughs> nice. I thought it was girls just putting a vagina on your forehead. <laughs> It do slap you on your back with dicks. Why are they, the why are they slapping on? you on like, your back? The dick talk <laughs> portion of it. Go, 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 go. Give us another one, Taylor Gang. Jesus. I have two more other ones. Um, who do you think, or this is to Pistachio <laughs> underscore Circus, who do you think should play the next Black Panther? Now, this is a good question. I was thinking about this. Um, yo, I love Chadwick Boseman. Rest in peace to Chadwick Boseman. Yeah. South Carolina all day. Um, you know, you have to recast him. You have to. Black Panther is... Well, yeah. Yeah. But I mean, you know, people are saying things like, you know, let Shuri play him. Shuri played... Shuri was Black Panther for two seconds in the comic books. You know what I mean? Okay. Killmonger was even Black Panther for a, a brief moment in the comic book. Like, you have to let... You just got to recast. Like, I'm sure <clears throat> from what I was told or what I read, Ryan Coogler just finished writing Black Panther 2. Mm. I actually think they were supposed to be start filming Black Panther 2 this year because Black Panther 2 was supposed to be released in 2022, if I'm not mistaken. Mm. Wow. So, and I think I read somewhere where Chadwick had, was just about to start shooting, but then he got sick. I don't remember. I don't know. Maybe I'm getting this wrong. But my point is, you just got to recast. You got to recast them, yo. You have mm. to. Like, you can't just throw that story away, throw that rich story away. Like, but you, you got to recast Black them. Panther. Be Black. I'm just saying, like I'd do it. The fuck. I would think <laughs> being black is probably something they're looking for when you want to play <laughs> Black Panther. Black Panther, I don't know. He had an accent. Yeah, but you got to recast. I saw somebody say he Lance Gross. Yeah. <clears throat> that Lance Gross. Who's I saw that? somebody say that. What about That's making just... Killmonger like switch his character and end up being the good guy, and then he becomes the new Black Panther? Yeah, he... Somebody suggested that online. Yeah, but if you've already written a whole script, you know how long it takes to write these movies? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, Ryan Coogler has devoted so much time. He's probably got a storyline. I think you should. You just got to recast. You know what I'm saying? I actually think if they they should go get somebody from Africa. You know what I'm saying? Go find an a, 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 a actor from Africa who can play that role. I'm sure there's somebody. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Um, When Chadwick was on Breakfast Club, God Bless the Dead, Chadwick was talking about um, his tribe that he's from, I think it's the Yoruba tribe, if I'm not mistaken. Go on the hunt. Right. See if there's some actors out there, you know, that Is are part of Nigerian? that tribe from that region. Yeah. Yes. Is Chadwick, not it? Yeah. It Euro is. Yoruba. Yoruba. Yeah. So it's the, it's that region, and he is. I, I, if I'm not mistaken, he's he's got some Nigerian in him. <laughs> it's Crone in this room. <clears throat> but yes, got to recast him. What else, Taylor? One more. Um, hold on. Taylor? Yes. Um, hold on. You got hold one on. thing to do. 
<laughs> Cardio. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, what did he just say? This guy is Cardio? Up, yo. Nobody said that. Yo, yo nobody said that. Charlamagne. I knew you was going to think I said that. Charlamagne. I knew you would think yo. I was going to say that. This guy's <laughs> fucked no. up, yo. <laughs> what did he say? He what just mad because my hips are bigger than his. That's all. No, you, you didn't hear what he hit. said. What That's what say? you should punch. What? This That's guy is crazy. Hungry. What? You going to let him throw that? You I didn't hear you say Go, go. What is it? What is it? What is it? Throw that. What is it? All right. Do that. You guys what? are kind of built similar. <laughs> <laughs> yo, yo, yeah. Charlotte, why are you talking shit? Who? You. Me and you. Why are you talking shit about me? And we're, <laughs> and we're built similar. I didn't even say nothing. I'm sitting over here texting. Yeah. <sighs> okay. I, listen, Taylor, you have a great body. I know. And by proxy, Charlotte, so do you. <laughs> to, to cute ass. <laughs> <laughs> Right. <laughs> Who want to put on some porn? All right. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm going to just do this one. All right. One more. Let's go. Uh, From Villar Route 16, what's a dream of yours that you have yet to reach? Um, You're about to see. Mm. A little bit more time Push. and you're about to see. Put it that way. That's it. I'll do, I'll do a little tease. Yeah. I mean, honestly, my dream has always been to be able to empower people. Empower people, employ people, you know, partner with people, put people in positions that that they can win. I think we we, I mean, yeah, I've been I'm doing that. I've been doing it for a while. Like my my dreams aren't like crazy crazy. You know what I mean? I just I just like to see people win. Like you know what I mean? Like I like to throw more assists than I than I do score points. So as long as I'm in a position to to, to throw assists, dream fulfilled. Beautiful. That's all. Beautiful. Want to want to close us out, Charlotte? Yeah, man. Listen, as always, um, thank you for joining us in this uh wonderful studio, the Brilliant Idiots. Thank you, studio Schultz Studio. D this is really Schultz Studio. When you ring the bell, his name pops up. When you walk down the hall, it says Schultz Studios. Got some branding, bro. You got branding is important. Branding is important. So as always, if you listen to this podcast, you think we're smart, you think we're intelligent, you think we're brilliant. But if you think we're just a couple of idiots who don't know shit, you're right too. It's the Brilliant Idiots Podcast. Thank you for listening. Peace.